All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. And uh, today is Saturday, and I hope you guys are having a great uh, weekend, uh, wherever you are located. Uh, yesterday it was our first uh, broadcast for a while. I was away, and today is our second one. And I pray that you know uh, whatever we do is going to be for the benefit of all. Uh, regardless of your religion and what you believe, you agree with me or not, uh, you know, I believe there is a benefit of being here and listening to what we do. Uh, I want to remind the Muslims that you do not need to tell me you need to debate me or you like to debate me. You are always welcome to do so, and you can call me anytime live on air. I do not need to know the topic, I do not need to know the question in advance. We are real, and we are here to prove you wrong. So if you think you have a knowledge, and you have the courage, and you believe that your God is in your side, and your God is real, there is nothing can make you lose. If Allah, which the Muslims, they claim to be the true God, is a true existed God, then I don't think you will have a problem to prove me wrong, because Allah will be in your side. However, I never saw Allah appearing during any of my debates and always the Muslims, they are in trouble. And I say to them, keep exploring. You see, the Muslim is the same as someone. He thinks he explored his religion, but the fact he is the last one to know. Each time I speak to a Muslim, he said to me, I never heard this, this before. I never saw something like this before. I mean, why those are Muslims, but yet they never heard about what their religion teach? How that can be possible? Welcome to Islam. It is a religion which has no explanation, which the followers do not know even what their God name mean. It's a religion. <laughs> you do not know even the purpose of it, except they say to you that, you know, Allah, he created us to worship him. And like, this is, a, this is one of the most funny answers ever you can get. Uh, I'm looking for something here. Let us see. Hold on. Where is that thing? Hmm. All right. I found it. Don't worry. I'm not looking for Abdul. He will not be under my table. Uh, he will be uh, hiding be maybe behind. You know, uh, Today, I hope you will be uh, able to receive some uh, calls from Muslims. And I heard there is somebody from Germany, and he speaks Arabic, and he is so desperate to debate me. And I wonder why he did not call yesterday. You know, he did not receive any text or call or any uh, anything. <clears throat> uh, you know, they say to their friends that they can debate me and they can win the debate easy but yet they don't dare to do it and when when we get somebody he want to call or he call he got busted badly i mean uh yesterday i don't know why youtube cut my video you know when you hear the video you think i start with the word uh, excuse my language shit but i was not saying shit <laughs> but youtube cut my video all the beginning and suddenly it it start with like if, I, if i'm saying that word uh, I don't know why not uh, the video is not appearing. You know, it should appear. It was, I think, four hours <clears throat> or maybe three hours. I'm not sure. Uh, but for some reason, YouTube is uh, uh, cutting off uh, the whole, most of it. Uh, yeah, and yesterday we got this guy, you know, Nightmare, who supposedly he speak Arabic, and he think because he speak Arabic, uh, he can he can play some games with me, but it doesn't work. You know, you cannot play games with a Christian prince. Trust me, even me, if my, myself, if I debate myself, I will lose. Yeah, don't do that. You know, however, you can try. Uh, our, our Skype is right now is open and you can give it a try. You know, I mean, what you will lose? You will lose anyway. You call, you don't call, you will lose. So, <laughs> it's a glory, my friend. Uh, there is many people, they, they send to me uh, messages in Facebook and they ask me questions. You know, I am not really too much into answering by emails. You know, my life is busy. 
and uh, uh, and because English is my second language, I don't really like uh, texting too much. Uh, you know, for me, answering uh, is a lot easier by speaking, not by uh, writing down. Because you know, like uh, uh, you know, oh here, like the word is not coming correctly, or here's a grammar mistake, or it's a, so it's like it's not it's not fun uh, to answer people by uh, text. So if you have a question, please feel free, especially if you are a Muslim, you can call me, and uh, we will see how we can help you. All right. Uh, If we go and uh, and check what uh, what Muslims they say to us about their religion, let us see what we have here in the screen. Hmm. Keep exploring. Hmm. That's a good idea. You know, if you ask any Muslim anything, and I I mean it when I say anything, you will see right away that this Muslim he have no idea what his religion is about. Who is Allah? And even who is Muhammad as an example if you ask the Muslims who is the father of Muhammad they will say to you his father his name is Abdullah hmm. what Abdullah mean that mean the slave of Allah that's wonderful his father name is Abdullah but yet he don't believe in Allah I mean, have you ever heard of such a stupid thing? His name is Abdullah, but he is not a Muslim. And not only that, Muhammad, he confirmed that his father will go to hellfire and his mother. And, you know, you ask yourself, it doesn't make sense. Like the guy, his name is a Christian prince, but yet he is not a Christian. And remember, you know, those names, you know, I'm talking about the old days. Those names are religious names. It's not just meant to be called by a name. It just it is a religious name. You know, like uh, the slave of uh, uh, such a person. It's mean you consider that person your god. You know, uh, like you know Abdul Manat, Abdul Uzza, Abdul etc. Those are names of God. So you you, you know you don't uh, and and you can change your name if you don't if you don't believe in this person or this God. Uh, you don't you know you don't have to carry this name. You know people they change their names. Uh, so why the name of the father of Muhammad is Abdullah, but yet he is not a Muslim and he don't believe in Allah the fact he is as a person uh, Most likely his name was not Abdullah most likely his real name was Abdullah <coughs> Abdullah Allah is one of the idols and one of the gods or the female gods which was exist in the Arabian Peninsula uh, during uh, Islam and before Islam uh, and because it, they, the Muslim they found it very offensive that they called their prophet Muhammad Ibn Abdullah so they changed the name from Abdullah to Abdullah otherwise I challenge any Muslim to tell me how this guy his name is slave of Allah but yet he is not a believer in Allah do we have any Muslim down in the field would like to call us? Anyone? Who is a Muslim would like to call us? This is an open platform for Muslims to talk to us and we will talk to you in a friendly way as long as you are friendly. And if you try to intimidate us, it doesn't work. You know, I know Muslim, they scream and etc. That Maybe you can do that with somebody from... Uh, you know from a nice uh, country. I am a Middle Eastern You know, what I mean, so I know uh, I know what you mean when you scream You know the Muslims if you notice when you debate with them they start hiring their voice uh, in order to shut you up and you don't say what you need to say and The Muslim they believe that when you are a person who is very nice and kind and gentleman they think you are weak, you know, they don't, uh, they don't uh, take it as you are a very kind person. No, this is not kindness for them. This is a weakness. So the Muslim always, he think in his mind that a Christian person who is very kind and very nice, he is very weak. He is not very kind, you know. He is very weak. Actually, this is what they've been taught in their uh, uh, 
uh, evil book that Allah he curse us by making us uh, nice we have a phone call let us see who is talking hello hello sir hello yes who is this hello um my, my youtube name is megatron i just want to ask a question if you don't mind no problem are you what is your religion my, my friend i'm a christian um i come from a muslim family all right and uh i was brought up uh, in a very secular way then i became a christian later in life well i am happy for you my friend go ahead what is your question <laughs> yeah i just want to ask about the seven ahrufs do muslims know what these seven ahrufs are are they just purely speculating well the, the uh, uh, you know what the muslims they knew as they've been taught that the seven letters or you call them seven sabat ahruf it is a way the quran was delivered to muhammad uh, right. as in seven recitation but if you think about it uh, you know this was a cover up made by muhammad uh, to cover a problem he have which is he is making up quran and each time he recite the quran he say it differently so Muhammad in order to cover himself like you know, okay You claim to be a prophet and yesterday you recite the same verse, but you said something different So why it is different today? So he have to say oh Allah he sent me uh, You know the Quran in seven letters in seven recitation So the letter is not really about letters. It's about it's seven different recitation to cover the, the uh, you know the let us say uh, the problem Muhammad is suffering from which is he is a liar and he cannot repeat the same sentence twice correctly So he have to say oh even if I like uh, uh, You know uh, if I say it differently because Allah he gave it to me in seven ways So the whole idea of this seven letters why you know what ask yourself why uh, the Muslim they say Moses was a prophet, correct? Correct. Okay. Why Allah did not give Moses seven Torah? Right, I mean Because the real Moses wasn't a liar no, no, yeah, so you see well, like why why did not give Isa Isa for the Muslims? He's a Muslim, right? Why Allah did not give Isa seven in jail? <laughs> it doesn't make right. sense. Why he did because not give I that to Abraham? Why he did not give for them even at Adam? He was a Muslim. So why? Uh, why only Muhammad he needed seven letters and not only that Muhammad he claimed that he was having a bazaar with his God His God he wanted to send him one Quran in seven in one recitation but Muhammad insisted that he cannot and it's not right to have it in one uh, 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 you know in one recitation because uh, his people will not be able or capable to observe it so now Muhammad he make it clear that Allah is wrong and he is right and Allah agree with him shouldn't we ask ourselves okay why Allah um, if he is God don't he know that he should send the Quran in seven letters? Right. Why he is waiting? I don't know if you can see the screen with me. Is the screen appearing for you, my friend? Uh, no, it isn't. Uh, guys, is the screen appearing from your side? Is it appearing from your side? Let me know, please, in uh, in YouTube, if you can see the screen, uh, because it should be appearing. Actually, I have the hadith about the ahruf, which means about the letters. Uh, the word harf mean letter, you know. Uh, right. he, here it says, uh, and this is a Sahih hadith. The Prophet S A W S B M Mercedes two hundred was uh, present at the pool of Bani uh, 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 Ifar, wherever Jibril came to him and said, "Allah has commanded you to make your community read, let me recite the Quran in one harf, which means one recitation or kind of recitation." The Prophet said. I beg Allah his burden, uh, you know, and forgiveness. My community has not strength to do so. What? Why Muhammad is fixing the order of Allah? Allah is giving an order that Muhammad, okay, I, I want to give you a Quran, and this Quran is going to be uh, made in a certain way and one way to go. Muhammad, he don't agree. Muhammad here, he said, I beg you burden. Hello. Allah, hello, <laughs> come on, I, you know, I know what you know not. I am Muhammad, you are Allah, and I know my people more than you. My people are so stupid. You need to send me the Quran in more letters. Now, I challenge any Muslim to give us a call and tell us what 
is going on Allah do not know and Muhammad he know better no yeah I don't know. You still you don't see the screen with me? Still, uh, are you looking no, at YouTube? No, huh? oh, okay. I can't see the screen of yours. Mm. Um, but I was just watching a, a Sunni scholar versus a Shia scholar, yeah. and the Sunni scholar was trying to show that the Shia scholar that the Quran has been corrupted. Then the Shia scholar was trying to show the Sunni scholar that if we were to take their Sunni narrative. The Quran is corrupted. So either way, the Quran is corrupted from both sides. And one of the arguments that the Shia scholar used is that the Sunni scholar, he doesn't know what the six Ahrufs are. So therefore, he made a claim that six sevenths of your Quran, if we were to follow the Sunni narrative, has been completely lost. And they don't know what the what these six Ahrufs are. Well, was, uh, he's, right. Just, uh, oh, he's right, because simply if Allah has sent seven letters, and this is what Allah he want and Muhammad he want so where are there the seven Quran well uh, he said that it, the seven Ahrufs are in the Al Duri Quran in the Wars Quran in the Hafs Quran it's all in there you know they are not you know I challenged the Muslim to show me the seven uh, you know Hafs and Warsh uh, there is only few of them is printed the, the rest is gone you know whereas I, I want to see them I, I want a Muslim to show me in his library the seven Quran which sent by Allah and reserved by Muslims you know and even the so, like, even the Quran of Hafs, there, there's nothing. It's called Quran of Hafs. Where, where I can find this Quran? It's not exist. It's not exist. Where is this? Where is this? Who's Hafs? Hafs is a person came almost more than two hundred years after Muhammad. You but know? they said that he has a chain of narration all the way. No, to the Hafs. Prophet. No, no. You see, Hafs. Hafs. Let, let me tell you, uh, Hafs. According to the Muslim, he's a liar. Even a hadith and just a hadith coming from Hafs is rejected. Why? Because he's a fraud. I can show you the reference. It says. That Hafs is a fraud, and he he used even to copy uh, books of others, of, like he steal books of others, and he claim it's his own. So he's a fraud. Any hadith is coming from Hafs. You will see the Muslim. They say to you, they don't, they don't say it's weak. You see, weak is accepted. They say it's rejected totally. You know, because why? Because Hafs, because it's Hafs who said that. So he's a liar. So how they take the Quran from Hafs? But they said that um, yes, Hafs was unreliable when it came to the hadiths. You know, uh, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. If you, if when you say he is unreliable to the hadith, that means he's a liar, right? Okay, so he's a liar here, and he is not right. liar there. Doesn't make sense. Liar is a liar, right? Right. Okay. So it's it's a joke. It's a, it's funny. I mean, either he is you know accepted, he is trustworthy, or he is not. So we don't accept him in something less value. And we accept him in something more value. You know what I mean? Like I just received a letter from uh, from the community here to be a judge for the election. You know, uh, and uh, in the letter it's uh, you know they explain why they uh, elect like this person. You know, obviously there is there's something unique about you. You have degrees, you have education, you have etc. But the most important thing is they will not appoint you as a judge unless you are trustworthy. So they check your record. Maybe this guy is a criminal. Maybe he's a drug dealer. Correct. Mm -hmm. So your degree will not be valid if you don't have the trustworthy, or you know, to be trustworthy to be a judge. So now, how mm -hmm. we how we can judge that this is because he is a judge now. He is the one is judging the Quran to be from God, and we take him as a trustworthy for the Quran. But we don't take him as a trustworthy for the Hadith, and with the Hadith is a lot more important than the Quran. So it's very stupid of them to say such a statement that we don't accept him to be trustworthy for the Hadith, which is lower in in the interest. And we accept him to be trustworthy for the Quran. That's a madness. However, the Muslim they say to us, and this is one of the lies Muslims always they repeat. They say, "We preserve the Quran." Okay, so why you are going by Hafs if you preserve the Quran? To make it simple for you, if you are, if you open, I don't know if you have a Quran at home. I don't know if you speak Arabic or not. If you, no, open, I don't speak Arabic, but yeah, I do. Have if you Quran. open the Quran, you know, if you open the Quran in page number A in the Arabic Quran. It says, "Ta'arifun bi hada al-Mushaf al-Sharif." Kutiba hada al-Mushaf wa wudubita ala ma yuwafiq riwayat Hafs ibn Sulaiman ibn Nughir al-Asad al-Kufi al-Qiraat Asim ibn Najud al-Kufi Tabi' Abd al-Rahman blah 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 blah. So it is according to Hafs, according to uh, 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 the reading of Asim, according to uh, 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 Abi Abd al-Rahman, according uh, Ibn Habib al-Sulma, according to Uthman, according to uh, Ali, according. Uh, to Zaid according so all of this is according but according to who it's coming at the end from Hafs which mean 
the Muslims, if they have the Quran of Uthman, they will not say according to Hafs anyway. Who need Hafs anyway if they have the Quran of Uthman? You know what I mean? Yeah, that makes sense. Because if I have, so are you absolutely convinced in your own studies, and you're very, very knowledgeable about all this? Are you absolutely convinced that the Quran that the Muslims have today is definitely not the Quran they had, let's say, in the time of Muhammad? My friend, I, I believe that uh, uh, the Quran of Muhammad it can be a fiction. It can be Muhammad. He can be a person. Have the, uh, because I believe Muhammad's name is not Muhammad. His last name is not the same. Uh, his life story is full of lies. Uh, the Quran is full of of, uh, of things that doesn't make sense, and it cannot be even written by uh, or made by this uh, uh, same writer. I would I would tell you something. Uh, I don't know if you have my books or any of my books. Do you have any any of them? No, sorry, I don't. I just yeah. watch. But if you, videos if you online. if you read my book, even though like you know it's. Uh, uh, we do proofreading and a grammar check, etc. But right away you will tell that this person uh, He is not uh, You know like he is not an Englishman because he is uh, you know uh, English is his second language even the book is so clear But still you will notice right away that this guy is not even close to be Shakespeare one day, right? So if I, right. give, if I give you my book or a page from my book and a page from Shakespeare It's not going to be hard for you to know who is Shakespeare and who's a Christian Prince Right, because the writing is different and the, the the quality of the language is different My my English is limited. So I am limited with my my English not my with my knowledge uh, And Shakespeare his his language is a lot. There's no question about his English So right away you will notice that it's not the same writer. It's the same in the Quran You will see some places some pages in the Quran. They have a very nice uh, uh, Arabic written and some, uh, 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 most of the Quran have a trashy writing. I mean, it's an idiot where he will not use this Arabic. So it cannot be made by the same person. You know, there is some part of the Quran written by someone. He is really good in Arabic. And there is someone, uh, uh, I believe there's many writers for the Quran, you know, because each one of them, his, his language is exposing him and the story is exposing him, you know, uh, uh, yeah, there is there is uh, there is softwares they can find out if you are a person stealing uh, articles or writing of, of people right this they, they put it there and they can find that how how many time uh, the word is repeated etc so it's like a, uh, it's a it's an, a software for investigation if we use the same with the Quran we will find that the Quran is a is a copy of many writers have nothing to do with each other and they are not even from the same time, not from the same generation, you know. Uh, this is why I believe that the Quran uh, is just a collection of, uh, of stories made by somebody. We do not know, some, some people, you know. Uh, and it is claiming it's coming from someone, his name is Muhammad, and his God, his name is Allah. But how truthful this is, is uh, I believe it's far away from the truth. However, I don't debate the Muslims about this. Because the Muslim believe it's coming from Allah, coming from Muhammad. So I debate him about what they believe. Uh, my belief, uh, I put it in the side, uh, unless like you, now you open this question and all this topic, so we talk about it. Uh, I, I don't like to waste my time with the Muslim to say to them, uh, "Oh, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, this is not from the same." Uh, okay, you say to me, "This is from Allah." Let's see how if this is if Allah is a true God or not. If Allah is a true God, he will not say stupid things like this, you know, like if we if we go to the Quran I just flip the Quran in front of me and it's open for me in page number four five one It says Salamun ala al -yasin. Okay, I challenge any Muslim to tell me what is this mean? <laughs> Who is a Muslim when I want to call me right now and tell me what does that mean? Salamun ala al -yasin. peace unto al -yasin. Who is al -yasin? Any Muslim want to tell me? Is that the name of a person? They don't know everyone every every Muslim Abdul he give you different interpretation <laughs> Right. Okay. <laughs> so okay if, if this is written by an Arabic a clear Arabic and the funny the Quran says that we made this book in a clear Arabic clear And even we explain it in details All right, so now why we cannot even find who is this person or if is it a person? Is it a, is it is, is it a name of a God? Uh, is it you know, you know because it might be a God for you know for very simple reason, you know, yes seen yeah, in the old, uh, uh, you know, uh, Middle Eastern languages, uh, yeah, is a word meaning God. You know, as simple as that. Salamun ala al 
Yasin, Yasin. What is Yasin? Yasin is the name of the moon god. Sin, if, if you go right now and you search for the god Sin, Yasin, you know, the god Sin is simply the moon god. So the word Yah is appearing before it, which is a word meaning God, and Sin is the name of the god. So peace on the Yasin. Who is Yasin? They don't know. You know, but right, I know. Okay. so and this is supposed to be a clear book, and they have absolutely no idea what it absolutely says. supposedly it's a clear book, but we we need tons of interpretation. To, uh, you know, like you know, Sahih al Bukhari, right? Yeah, okay, yeah, I do. Now, Sahih al Bukhari have book to explain Sahih al Bukhari, and then the explanation of Sahih al Bukhari have explanation of the explanation. You know, what I mean, <laughs> if, if Sahih al Bukhari the explanation, what about the Quran? You know. And after, after all the explanation we have of the Quran, nobody can explain the Quran because still they say to you, Allah knows best because they are just guessing. <coughs> you know, it's just a guess. I don't right. know. Like, I, I'm not sure. I think it means this. And Allah knows best. A Muslim always he signed his, uh, his, uh, uh, his page by saying Allah knows best to save his ass from being killed because uh, uh, other group of Muslim, they want to say to you, no, no, that doesn't mean that. We don't agree with you. We'll kill you. You know that you are best. Allah <laughs> Alam. Yeah, Allah Alam. Yeah, Allah knows best. You know, Allah knows best. So Allah knows best because simply nobody knows, and because Islam is a, is a is a collection of religion, collection of writers, collection of articles, and uh, and they put them put them together, trying to make it as if it's a book. You know, right? Uh, uh, why you know, like as an example, in the Muslim they say to you, uh, the alcohol is forbidden in Islam. Are you sure? <laughs> why? Why it's forbidden? Where, when it's forbidden? You know, if you read the Quran, you will see the Quran praising the alcohol, saying it's good. How something is good one time and it is became bad another time. Is it yeah. is it written by the same person the same time? You know, yeah. because like, you know, let me uh, let me do to explain my idea. If if I say to you, if I am the same person and then I say to you, alcohol is good, black label is good, beer is good, Hennekin is good. And then second day, I make an article saying, the one who drink article, the, the drink Hennekin is the devil. It doesn't make sense. Yesterday, you said something different. Right. So yeah, that, that doesn't make sense. Yeah. So how what was good yesterday, today is bad. Obviously. The Muslim would, the Muslim would say that this was progressive revelation so no God this is not true time. this is not true you see because uh, if Allah keep his mouth shut did not talk about it that can be acceptable but already you said his it's good you know what I mean right like uh, I do not need to say prostitution is good today and tomorrow I say it's bad uh, either right. it's good or it's bad that doesn't make doesn't make uh, sense so uh, the progressive he's talking about if I, he don't uh, forbid them right away from doing it and keep his mouth shut but you approve it today and you say it's good and then tomorrow you say it's not obviously this is written by a different person different uh, you know unless unless the person if it is coming all from muhammad it is it means that muhammad is just a crazy man and right. uh, he, he is not stable and he depends in his mood so when he gets sick maybe he cannot drink alcohol no more so he got jealous so he forbid them from drinking alcohol otherwise right. alcohol was good and lovely and wonderful and allah himself appraising alcohol in the quran the same book saying that alcohol is the book of the, uh, the uh, is is the work of the devil, is <coughs> is the same book promising the Muslims uh, uh, alcohol in heaven. Right. I mean, is it from the devil or it's from uh, from God? The same book saying that the al the alcohol is uh, wonderful and you can make even good money, good business from it, and have a any benefit for for mankind. Praising the alcohol and even you, it, it 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 used the word in Arabic sakaran, which means it can make you drunk. Um, look how Allah in love and being drunk. You see, he didn't say alcohol is good only. He's speaking about it as, as making you drunk. So being a drunk is good. Not only speaking about alcohol there's a benefit because yes, uh, you know, uh, 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 alcohol have a benefit, not necessarily to drink from it. You know, you can use even it like you have a skin cut. You are bleeding. You can use alcohol to clean your, 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 you know. So yes, the alcohol have a benefit. You can even uh, uh, make a light from it. Uh, you know, you can you can uh, uh, make a fire from. So the benefit he's talking about in the Quran is about being drunk. Right? What is the benefit of being drunk? Can I ask which verse is this, please? Uh, that's that's a good question. Are you trying to make the Muslims call us? 
No, no, no. I was just, I was just wondering for my own information. Okay. ومن ثمرات النخيل والأعناب تتخذون منه سكرا ورزقا حسنا إن ذلك لآية لقوم يعقلون. Chapter sixteen, verse number sixty-seven. Chapter sixteen, verse number sixty. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much. Just one last question, and yes. that's it. Then I'll leave you alone. Is it true that the Salafi interpretation of who Allah is is that Allah has fingers, Allah has a hand? Allah has a face, Allah has a shin, Allah has legs. Do they literally believe Allah has different body parts, like like some kind of all, Zeus in the all sky? The Sunni, all the Sunni believe in this. There's nothing that's called Salafi. Salafi is a joke. It does not exist. There's nothing. There's, right. there's no sect that's called Salafi. You know, this is a, uh, uh, it's a statement of, uh, you know, the, the deception. Uh, all Muslim Sunni, they believe in that. And mm -hmm. all Muslim Sunni believe in the Hadith. And the, the, and the and the one they call them Salafi, they are just. What, do you know what Salafi mean? The followers of the Salaf. Salaf. What is the Salaf? Salaf, the the one who passed, the old ones, right? We mean the the, the, the close the, to Muhammad. The so, companions of the companions. It, yeah, the it's the same as we say I am Orthodox or uh, right. Orthodox okay. Jew. You know, so right. no. those are the Orthodox, and it's just what Muhammad said, as simple as that. You know, like they say to you, Wahhabi. It's not. It's called Wahhabi. Wahhabi is the one who follow. Uh, what Muhammad said exactly that's as simple as that so they, they create they create certain uh, um, titles to group just to make them uh, let us say to like uh, to say you know I have nothing to do with them you know what I mean oh those are Wahhabi those are not really what the Wahhabi are, are, are a true Muslim what Wahhabi, Wahhabi uh, uh, Abdul Wahhab is a guy who said okay it's time to go back to the way the Prophet he he was that's it so he's not a there's nothing is called Wahhabi you know, this is a true Muslim so it's a fiction it's a lie titles names are given it just to separate themselves from the accusation is made against them in many places I hope I answered your question yeah thank you very much for um, giving me some of your time and no problem my you can call me really anytime my friend it. and I'm so happy for you that you left Islam and you became a Christian and may the Lord bless you and bless thank your you. family take care. thank you you too God bless bye bye, bye, -bye. If we have any Muslim you don't like what we said, please feel free. You can, uh, you know, uh, uh, you can, uh, you know, call me and get me busted. Somebody is asking me in Facebook, uh, sorry, in uh, Skype, uh, do you still have Patreon? Don't you? Um, yes, I do. Actually, I have a link underneath of the video. You can click in it and you can go there, my friend, if you like to make a donation for what we do. And thank you very much. Uh, you know, my experience with Muslims is, you know, uh, it's like speaking to a kid. And this kid is suffering from uh, self-confident. Okay, we have a Muslim calling, Mr. Submission to Allah. How are you, Mr. Submission? Hello? Hello, uh, Mr. Prince. Yes, how are Hello. you, Mr. Submission? Good to, good yeah, to hear you. Good to hear you. Wa alaikum as uh, I'm fine. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yesterday, uh, I after uh, watching uh, your videos, All right. I went to ask because uh, I've been watching uh, many of your videos mm -hmm. for almost one year here all right i've been asking myself if uh, the proof you were uh, bringing to islam were true i went and i went to ask uh, some scholars and uh, about who allah is all right truly i just want to have a sensible uh and uh, i believe that he allah is a spirit He's but when i went there uh, they told me uh, it's forbidden. It's haram uh, to to say Allah is a spirit. Yeah, actually, uh, in Islam, Allah is and, a spirit. Is rejected. It, this idea is rejected. That, yes. Oh uh, uh, yeah, and uh, uh, I was so confused that when uh, I asked them that he has faces, he has two right hands, and he has leg, but kif uh, hada. Allah Alam, they said. How yeah, yeah, how, do, how we it, say that Allah Alam and yes. how can I describe Allah? 
mm-hmm. and uh, what is your and I want to and they uh, when I see them they told me that you have soul and the sheikh told me bring a scenario you have soul. can you see a soul is soul is a solid a ruh means a solid or a liquid or it is a gas he said that as you cannot differentiate a soul Uh, your voice is cutting Focus in terms of human mind uh, so, a submission your, your voice cutting is, is cutting just tell me you know when he was saying to you liquid or etc from there i lost you if you, uh, you can repeat please okay uh he said that uh i want uh proof of for uh, for this he said that uh as you cannot diff- explain your soul roh mm-hmm. Just like let's he said, uh, can you say a roh is a liquid or a solid? Mm-hmm. He said that no, a roh is not a liquid or a solid. Mm-hmm. As 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 like that, you can you cannot say Allah is like that. No, you see, uh, he just can he, all, he only just say uh, that Allah know the best. He is just giving you confusion. Okay, like, okay, what is the what is the answer after all of this? Yeah, the answer right. He's just blah 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 blah. I got confused because because why confused. he is even comparing the spirit. To a liquid, I mean, this is a stupid okay. idea, right? Who, nobody is saying that the spirit is a liquid, and nobody is, is, is thinking that if I open the faucet, I'm going to have a cup of spirit. You know, mm. that is that is a crazy. But because he okay. have no answer, he's trying to confuse you, so you get in with no answer, you get out with no answer anyway. But you think you get the answer? You see, let me let me show you. They ask Muhammad the same question okay. as you ask. You know. And I think you, okay. you you wanted to know this this answer for this as you said because you were watching my videos, right? Okay. Yeah. If we go in the Quran, it says uh, that the uh, the people they ask Muhammad, they say to him, and you speak Arabic, mm-hmm. Chapter yeah. seventeen, verse number eighty-five. Okay. They are asking you about the spirit. Say the spirit is from my God command. Where is the answer? No answer. You know, and the Muslim they like in the translation they try they say yeah. inspiration. They, they, they doesn't speak about inspiration. They speak about the spirit. So you know why Muhammad himself he have no answer because simply Muhammad is an ignorant man. He do not know what to say. The spirit is very simple. I mean, I do not need to be genius to tell you what is the spirit. Spirit is the power of life. You know, like when I when when somebody is dead, why he is dead? Because his the power of life which is given by God is taken from him. So now he is a dead body. Right when his spirit is, okay. is within him, life is in. So it's, it's it is simply okay. it's the power of life, yeah. and this power of life is made by who coming from yeah. who? It's coming from God. So God He give life. You can say it's a created life. You can say it's a it's a gift life. You can say whatever you want. However, the life all of it is coming from from one life, the life of God. Life God okay. is living God, okay. right? That God is living God, and all life is coming from Him. So. If, if can you say uh, in Christian in uh, Christianity uh, how uh, God looks like or can you describe in terms of uh, human mind my friend God is a spirit in for us as a Christians right but in the same time okay. because he is almighty he can come to us in any way he wish I mean who can tell God what to do what not to do right uh, you know it, it, the Muslim they say to you is Holy Spirit is that correct they say Jibreel yes, is the Holy Spirit. Okay, Jibreel came yes. to to Mary it's as Muslim yes. as Muslim. They say came to Mary as a spirit, but appeared to her as a man. Okay, okay. is it logical to accept yeah. that a, 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 a spirit, which is an angel, mm-hmm. have the power to transform itself to be a perfect man, but God cannot? It doesn't make sense. Who is more? Who have more ability to do things? The angel or God? So the angel can transform himself to look like a man. But the God of Islam, he cannot. Same time, if we read the Muslim Muhammad, uh, uh, like uh, hadith, yesterday we were talking about it. Muhammad, he said, he compared between the Dajjal and he and, and his God. And what he was comparing about, he compared about the look. You know, but the, 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 the Dajjal is a human being. Supposedly, he have a, the physical being of a human being. And he said to them, your God is not our, is not one eyed. Right? So uh, uh, why you are giving then a description of a human being to God if he is not a human being okay why you talk about hands why God he have hand anyway I mean if God say B is going to be what the hand for 
you know, for me, I, 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 I have the Quran in front of me. I cannot say the Quran open unless I use my hand, correct? But, but, oh, yeah, but, correct. yeah, but if I can say Quran open, the Quran open for me, I do not need a hand. <laughs> right? If I if I can think just in my brain that okay uh, TV start the TV will start I do not need to know you see in the old days you know I, I don't know how old are you but in, in in when I was a kid we 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 have to go to the TV and turn it on by hand if we change channels we have to go there and use our hands right but now wow. uh, uh, now you can do voice command uh, what wait what wait a second they uh they say that uh uh when uh, they gave me uh, three Quran ayah, and uh, one he said, "Falam uh, anhu la ilaha illallah wa astaghfiru uh, uh, Yeah. Know Allah is your Lord and uh, ask forgiveness Forgive for your me. sins. Right. So, and the other is, uh, uh, "I am Allah." Uh, when he revealed to Moses, mm -hmm. "I am Allah," mm -hmm. and. Mm -hmm. Uh, just like serve me, he said, serve me somewhat like that. It's if you remember, mm -hmm. I gave that verse too. This is uh, our what we are believe to do in Islam is to serve Allah because knowing serve Him, that's all we do. Yes, but so Islam uh, is exist to uh, 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 we are uh, created to serve Allah, but how uh, why Allah needs servants anyway? You see, I can say I'm a servant of God to serve. Uh, uh, but the purpose is to serve other human being because God do not need my servant my, me to be a servant you know I mean God he's God he own everything he, he can say he can do whatever he want you do not need me who I am I am it's, it's like you know okay imagine you're in your home and then an ant little ant come to you and said I'm your servant what do you want I mean this is silly right what an ant can do for you nothing so uh, 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 this is just comparing an ant to you what about comparing us to God? We are nothing, you know. The the, the whole Earth is like a dust yeah. in the in this galaxy, in, in, in one galaxy, like not even a dust. This is how small it is. So, what servant of God and what what they are talking about? The whole idea is that those Muslims do not know who is Allah. They have no idea how to answer a question. Actually, uh, the Quran say clearly that you should not ask a question. Why? Because if you ask. Uh, uh, you know, uh, a question you will leave Islam. So, ask not questions, uh, uh, you know, uh, otherwise, you are going to leave Islam. If you read with me, chapter 5, verse number 101, it says, yeah, 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 Okay, why there is a okay. why there is such a verse in the Quran? I mean, what's the point of this verse? Why, why I should not ask questions because simply Muhammad, he has no answer, he's a false prophet. Because Allah doesn't want too many questions. Because uh, just it's uh, said that uh, what Allah, what Allah, right? my, my friend, my they friend, obey Allah, and Allah, messenger. Allah do not want questions. That doesn't make sense. It's Muhammad who don't want questions because Allah does not exist anyway for me. Allah, the, the, the people are not asking Allah. The Muslim, the people are asking Muhammad. Right? The people never saw Allah, never yeah, met Allah, never right. spoke to Allah. So they're asking Muhammad. So he's saying to them. Oh, you believe ask not question about things which is if made plain to you may cause you in trouble Okay, why is going so who are you? What are you coming for? Imagine now I say to you call me ask me questions and then I say you you call me and I answer you I saying oh who you believe ask not questions well, you told me ask me questions You told me you are a prophet. You told me you are a teacher. You told me you are a master You told me you are the one who have a guidance how you have a guidance, but yet we can't ask you questions you know so ask not questions and 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 verse 102 it says why because some people before you did ask such questions okay. and on that account lost their faith so those questions will make you became an atheist maybe make it may make you christian maybe make you a hindu maybe but will not make you a muslim because if you ask those questions obviously muhammad will get busted you know what i mean Otherwise, it yeah, doesn't make uh, sense. Yeah, see, I got you. See, you. I see, understand. Yeah, and you see, if if uh, uh, any because, any uh, false uh, teacher, why I, 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 at last I found why. Uh, 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 Your voice is cutting off. Uh, submission. Uh, I've found. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can you? Okay, try can you now. listen. Okay, try listen. Now. Yeah. 
actually uh, it, you, uh, all what you said I've been asking and I want to uh, I would like to ask you uh, because uh, uh, how about the Warsh Quran in the half of Quran and recently when I can I'm I'm very sick and uh, uh, do you know the words in the half of Quran? Yes, the Duri Quran. Yeah, what about them? Is it is it real? Is it real? Well, you know, I, I believe nothing in Islam is real. You know, it's it's a collection of there's no proof of it. However, they are exist. Okay. They are exist, and there's a lot of okay. differences between them. You know, um, and uh, like if you go to Morocco, you will see that the Moroccan, as I know, they don't mm. read half Quran. They read Warsh Quran, right? And you can, yes, uh, right. can and you can go and read the Warsh Quran and we see there's a the differences. However, uh, the the story of the differences between the Quran it does not make sense. We, and why God he want to send seven Quran to Muhammad, but he want he don't want to send seven uh, Bible to Jesus, you know? Uh, why and why the people are not capable, as Muhammad he said, to understand the uh, the, the, the Quran if it's re, uh, sent in one recitation? Uh, that does not make sense too, because simply. Uh, if uh, if if the Quran saying that we explain the Quran in the details, you know, we make it a clear Arabic and de with details. So why they are not capable of understanding the Quran? So Muhammad simply, uh, I, I was saying that to the previous caller before you. I don't know if you, you hear me. Muhammad he could not repeat the same verse twice correctly, for he is a fabricator. So he have to come with a lie to explain why he okay. is. You mean a uh, prophet? They said that he forgets verse from the Quran. Yeah, you know the Muhammad. Yes, Muhammad he forget the Quran. Uh, you know uh, there is many uh, many hadith speaking. Can you give me proof, uh, can you give me proof from the Quran? He uh, uh, forget. Uh, yeah, no problem. Uh, uh, I, will, I, will, I will give you. Okay. Yeah, Muhammad. Uh, no, uh, uh, he forgot. But even though the Quran saying that we recite to you the Quran and you shall not forget, but yet. The, the the Sahih al-Bukhari confirm okay. that he he uh, forgot the Quran. Okay. Okay. If we go in Sahih al-Bukhari, let me let me get you the uh, the reference from Sahih al-Bukhari. Hold on. Uh, it says okay. uh, uh, you know uh, uh, speaking about a man who recites verses and Muhammad he said to him, "Oh, uh, like may Allah bless you because I remind me of verses which I forgot." You know, uh, read with me carefully. I don't know if you can see the screen. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. Allah Apostle heard him. Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. You want me to show it to you in Arabic? Which one you want? English or Arabic? English. It both. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. So, you know, I will, uh, I will show it to you in Arabic now. Uh, so, as you see the story here, Muhammad, he, he heard a person reciting the Quran. And he said, may Allah bless you. You know, you remind me of verses okay. I totally forgot. You know. And I was look what he's saying, which I was caused to be to forget. Now, uh, how Muhammad forget the Quran? Uh, why this happened? You know, the Muslim they say that the Quran is preserved in the chest of maybe he's a human. Maybe maybe I understand. He's, I understand. He's a human. But, 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 but yeah, but, you know, but that all the humans correct. can forget. Uh, Cor correct. But this, but this is will not will not make sense if Allah said to you, you will not forget the Quran. Remember. That uh, uh, in the Quran it says, okay. We are going to re to to uh, uh, to give you Quran, and you will not forget. So if Allah promise you that you will not forget, you know, then you will not forget, right? Uh, because this is God, you know, that God He can make miracles. It's a miracle not to forget ever. So when well, Allah, Allah, a human uh, or a hadith, if. Uh, Uh, I don't will click another man who made a mistake. No, no, uh, it, we yes, yes, but, but, uh, were made. Uh, hold on, hold on. We were uh, made to make mistake. Right, right. No, no. Okay. You see, the Muslim and you and you are uh, coming from a, a Muslim family, and you are a Muslim. You know that the Muslim they say that Muhammad, uh, uh, when it's come to religion, he is uh, protected, masum, correct, masum. He don't make error when it's come to religion. Yes. He make yes, an error protected. have to do with the human being yeah, error, yeah. but not to religion. Here the Quran chapter 86 7 verse number 6 you can read in Arabic it says so no do you know what does that mean yes what we it? do not forget okay so what we forget what the Quran <laughs> right yeah okay so now where is the promise of God 
If God, he said to me, you will not repeat, lose a repeat the verse again. Chapter eight, chapters 87, verse number six. Repeat the verse again. Okay. And this is the translation of anyone you want. You know, so if, if God, he made a promise that you will not get sick, I will not get sick. That's it. That's God. If God said you will not forget, I will not forget. Not because I am the Superman, but because God, he said so, you know. So when Allah, he says to him that you will recite to you and you shall not forget, well, Muhammad shall not forget. But then we find that Muhammad, he forget Quran. And then we find Muhammad saying that he received the Quran in seven letters to cover that issue. You know, actually, Muhammad in different verse in the Quran, he confirmed trying to cover his problem with forgetting Quran by saying the following, which is a very funny uh, statement. I find it. Uh, you know, and uh, I don't know if you will agree with me or not, but I understand you are a Muslim and you will not like what I'm saying. Read with me carefully, please. How this can happen? Yeah, <coughs> yeah, yeah, I understand this verse. Yes. Why Allah if, uh, why? He made you for <laughs> yeah, get this. We will bring the same or the better, does it, but, but does it make sense? I mean, you cause me to forget it to make the same. Well, what is the logic? The same uh, doesn't make sense, but because Muhammad he cannot recite the same verse twice correctly, so now he says, Oh, Allah caused me to forget, but don't worry, be happy, Allah will give me another verse the same, or even better. Uh, you know, the funny, the Muslim they say to me, Can you make Quran like the Quran? Well, Allah Himself, He is saying He made Quran better than the Quran. In this verse, because he's saying, if we cause to forget, we are going to substitute something better or similar. Allah will make Quran better than the Quran, or similar than the Quran. Why? Allah, he went to class and he studied the language of uh, Shakespeare, and now his English is better, so he's going to make Quran better than the Quran. Does it make sense? How the Quran of Allah is better than the Quran of Allah? Uh, <clears throat> okay, yeah, uh, okay, uh, okay. Can you? Uh, what 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 is the contradiction? There is no contradiction in the Quran. Whenever I read the Quran, it's it's normal because uh, uh, let me say uh, something. Uh, why they they are uh, peaceful Muslims? I grew up in a very uh, Muslim family, and uh, they they reside. And there are other sides too. Uh, a submission i'm losing your i'm losing your uh, why is this i don't know su submission uh, if you have okay, other, okay. Uh, uh, hold on if you have other are you using the phone or using computer uh, i'm i'm using phone okay can you uh, do me a favor uh, hang up and call me back close all the other application i think your internet is not good and maybe there is some applications using the internet so you can have a better voice can oh, you do okay. that? call me back okay all right thank you oh, okay all right. Because we want to, we want to understand okay, what you I'll are saying. You, you know, okay. we, we, everybody want to understand what you are saying, and uh, uh, you know, just call me back in when you we close all up. Thank you. All right, uh, guys. Imagine we have God. He says, "I'm going to cause you to forget the Quran, and I will make something similar or better." I mean, who is the crazy here? <laughs> who is the crazy here? Uh, imagine I say to you, okay, did you get my book, The Deception of Allah? You say yes. He said, okay, forget about it. I'm going to cause you to forget it because I'm going to make something similar. Similar? Why you want to cause me to forget if it's similar? It is similar anyway. I mean, who is the crazy here? You cause me to forget it to make something similar? What does that mean? That is the madness. But this guy, he have to make up this excuse, for he cannot, you know, recite the same verse twice. All right, welcome back, submission. Hey, okay. Uh, um, okay, go ahead. I think uh, are your apps uh, are. Uh, it's somewhat I found it convinced. I don't know what to do, but he, okay. Yeah, it's okay. Just go ahead. What do you want to say? We are listening. Yeah. 
His internet. It's, uh, it's, you know, it's uh, very scary. Yeah. Is it dropped off? Say again. Hello. Yes, I hear you. Go yeah, ahead. it's, 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 it's uh, uh, can you show me a single harf that has been changed in the Quran? Harf that has changed. Well, in the verse in the front of you, it says to the to you, it's changed. <laughs> <laughs> However, if I want to show what? you, I can I can show you, I can show you, uh, you know, tons of of uh, uh, you know misunderstanding. As an example, you know, in the Quran, the story of uh, uh, the the three Christians and their dog. Yes, they were in the cave. Yes, you re you remember this story, right? Yes, I remember this story. Okay. And you know that dogs are uh, bad animals in Islam, correct? Yes, najis. Yes. They are najis. So, okay, here now, how we can explain this? What ahsabuhum, okay. that they are awake, wa hum ruqood, wa nuqallibuhum that al yamini wa that al shimali, wa kalbuhum basitun dhira'ayhi bil wasir. Okay, how this happened? Their dog is open his two hands. There's, dogs don't have two hands, my friend. Have you ever heard of a dog have a hand? No. Dogs have no, four it legs. It has four legs. Correct. So this is a mistake. Or the one who wrote the but, Quran, uh, he got it something wrong. This is not. Oh, this okay. is not. This is not kalbahum. This is kaliahum. Okay. Kaliahum is the one who provide them and support them. That is an angel. This story is copied from the Christians. Which is written in the fourth century, long before Islam, written by a Christian okay. priest. You know, uh, he is from okay. Syria. It's a fiction story okay. about a group of a Christians. Can I get that book? Can I get that? Yeah, book? Yeah, yeah. You can uh, right now. You can search in Google. Just search in Google right now. It's a very famous story. It's called the Seven Sleepers. Seven Sleepers. It's not a secret, you know. Sleepers, okay. yes, you know, okay. written long before Islam, and here, okay. Muhammad, uh, or let us say, it, it, uh, copying the story of this fiction story from the Christians, uh, claiming that it's true story happened, and about those Christians. And look, if, you know, if you read the story with me here, they say some they say they are a three and their dog is number four, and some they say they are four and their dog is number five, and some they say they are they are five and their dog is number six, uh, blah blah blah. So, but what what is the number? That, you know, still there's no number. What is the answer? It's stupid. I mean, what you are saying to me, some they say three and some they say, and then they say to me, Allah knows best. At the same time, how you say, you speak Arabic, I speak Arabic. We don't say there are five and their, their, and their dog is number six because dog is not a human. We, we don't no. add, we don't add the numbers. Like if, you, if I say to you, uh, go and see how many people in the house. You say to me, seven people. You don't say to me, five people, and and there is number seven is a dog you know Th that doesn't make sense and here it says actually it's not even saying that look what it says Sorry, they, are, they, are th they are three I, really and, 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 and if, three uh, and the fourth you, you yeah go ahead well someone told me someone told me the prophet وسلم, he with a corpus if you bring a sahih hadith i swear uh, i will I understand. Say again. I, I lost you. If, if I bring Sahih Hadith, about yes, what? he he slept with uh, uh, someone, some uh, person. He texted me that he, uh, your prophet slept with uh, a dead woman. I didn't accept that. She she said that. Mm. Is it? Uh, but I am. I, I was looking, uh, searching for that verse, but I was not able to get it. That verse uh, in the Hadith or uh, anywhere in the. Because uh, <clears throat> I sometimes feel that uh, some Christians uh, make allegations on the Muslims. Um, uh, actually, uh, what you showed me is, uh, is, is, is really uh, c convincing. And uh, uh, at last, uh, I, I, I have to say that. Uh, uh, hello, can you uh, I, I, I listen to me? I hear you. I hear you. Go ahead. I'm listening. Yeah. 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 yeah and. Uh, Yes, uh, it's, it's full. I can see that it's full of contradiction. I believe that now. So, um, do you, uh, do you, you know, like, did you decide to leave Islam? Yeah.
that's I'm wonderful that's it. wonderful i'm not going to ask you where are you from you speak because i can you know that i can yeah i cannot refute it anymore yeah yeah well that's I wonderful my friend. Proof anymore because everything is clear so i advise you I not mean, to try, i tried for many many years and uh, yeah i advise you to change your name from uh, from submission to allah to something else <laughs> you know because your name is submission to allah you are not submitting to allah no more that's a good news uh, okay, I, I will. I, I will. I will read. Uh, uh, and then I'll read the uh, uh, Bible. Okay, also I will read. Okay. Well, I'm so happy for you, my friend. And uh, uh, okay. if you have a question about Christianity, I will be happy to answer you. If you have something to say, yeah. Uh, if you like to know about okay. uh, why okay. I am a Christian, I will be happy to answer you too. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know, uh, 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 the the most important is. It's not really to be Christian or to be. A Thank Muslim. you for helping me because I've been all your videos. It was it was very. I remember very. Uh, I was sick when I heard uh, the first time your videos. But as, uh, but later on, uh, I went to uh, ask when I asked people, they were all offended and they were angry. And now I start long period. I went to sunnah.com, top shares and other websites and looking, searching here and there. Uh, at last, all what you said is true, and uh, I live uh, my religion. I renounce the belief that's wonderful my friend i'm so happy for you and may the lord Anymore, bless you know. may the lord bless you and and uh, give wisdom in your life and i hope that your family too they will leave islam as soon uh, as possible and if you need my help to convince any of your family i will be so happy uh, 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 you know to, to help yeah because i'm not supposed to follow the one who changes words every time every time there is in the other place it is There is no compulsion, and I read that, and I. Uh, the voice is cutting. Except that people has given it his friend, uh, from and this and that is full of uh, following. When I, I defend Islam anymore, that means. Well, that's wonderful. My I friend. accept that. If you have, and thanks for you because you. Thank you. I'm very shivering right now and uh, thank you brother you're welcome my friend i'm so happy for you and uh, you know uh, don't uh, don't be scared from the change you did you did you did good you know this is a change for better and the devil is not going to you know have a power over you unless you uh, give him the power you know it, it, actually even the quran there is i don't know if you know the verse uh, the quran says that uh, allah he said to the shaitan that you have no power over my follower except the one who follow thee but the funny the muslim they say that muhammad was controlled by black magic and that means that muhammad was following the devil so muhammad is was he bewitched yes they say he was bewitched right yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, okay. yeah. And can you give me that uh, uh, what do you want uh, uh, from uh, hadith uh, hadith uh, is he bewitched or not i only need the volume and uh, yeah, sure. That's very easy. You know, um, Muhammad. Not only he was bewitched, even he, you know, and the hadith confirmed that Muhammad he used to uh, to imagine himself sleeping with his wife, but the fact he never did. Read with me carefully here. This is Sahih al Bukhari. Okay. And this is the reference. I will put it on the screen. Hadith number six zero sixty three. All right, and this is okay. Sahir Bukhari. Okay, Aisha, she okay. said the Prophet continue for such and such a period of time. Period. Okay. Imagine that he slept, which means have sex with his relationship with his wives, but in fact he did not. All right, and why this has happened? Then the story is speaking about that he was under the effect of a magic, which was okay. made for him by a guy. His name is Lubaid ibn Asam, and you can read the whole story. You know, so. Uh, 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 you know imagine we have a prophet he have all the problems in the world in this prophet from a child molestation to sleeping with the wife's son to black magic to imagine himself doing things but in fact he never did including sex which means even the sex of the prophet was unreal you see I mean I can't imagine that somebody is married and then he speak about sex and then we find that his sex even 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 sex have no witnesses you know because when you have sex you have a witness it's your wife 
right? Yeah, because uh, yes, but you're here, right. Because uh, but, but, but here, that, uh, when uh, I can't say you know anymore is tarif hadis, it is sahih hadis because I don't have to because I have to be genuine that your proofs are real and. Uh, well, we are showing in the I stream. Myself I myself uh, found this also, and uh, it was really hard for me to believe this. He was bewitched, and, uh, uh, and also, uh, you know, very how, sad how he can be all, wished. Uh, all of my life, and, uh, very sad. No, you know, it's okay. You know, like uh, uh, you see here, cha chapter fifteen, verse number forty-two. It says, "Inna ibadi laysa laka alayhim sultan illa man min al -ghawin. Okay, what does that mean? My followers. My slaves, you have no power over them except the one who followed thee. Okay, Allah is saying that to the shaitan that you have no power over anyone of my servant, which means the Muslims, except the one who followed thee. So, how shaitan have a power over Muhammad putting black magic on him? Based in this verse, for the shaitan to okay. be able to do so, he have Muhammad, he have to be following thee, the shaitan. Correct? Yeah. That, that yes. then then it, it's a you know it's a it's a crazy thing. So uh, obviously this person uh, suffering from I, I believe Muhammad as a character at the end of the day he is suffering from mental issues. You know, um, and always he tried to cover. Is, is that true that he was also uh, poisoned at Khaybar by Safiya? Yes, yes, he was. Uh, uh, you know. Not by Safiya, but by, how by, come, by, a, by a Jewish uh, woman. I haven't heard this all over my life. Yeah, well, the Shia, uh, the Shia, they have different story. The Shia, they say that the one who killed Muhammad was Aisha and Hafsa. Uh, but uh, yeah, but uh, but uh, but the Sunni, they have different scenario. Uh, they they believe it was. Uh, Hey, right. thank you. Uh, I will call you. All right, no I will call you. I understand. Yeah, and I will tell. Uh, I will tell my wife also. I will let her uh, understand because uh, she was uh, actually she was the one who led me to watch your video, and I've been watching. That's and, wonderful. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, yes, she was the one. I was angry at her first. I was really angry. I I I, I would ask her apologize. Uh, because I, I beat her once because I was annoyed because I was uh, failing. I was protecting my face and uh, later on after watching many of your videos I finally found out that it's really convincing and I left Islam. That's wonderful. And I will ask you other questions and uh, That's me the Lord so. bless you and bless your family and your wife and your kids mm -hmm. and uh, uh, Feel free to call uh, me anytime you or your wife and if you have any question, okay? May the Lord bless okay. you, friend. Take care. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. All right. Today we have a wonderful day. Here we go. We have a, a gentleman who decided to leave the cult of Islam, and you know I understand people they fight me in the beginning and they hate me. I understand. I mean it's not easy. It's not easy, my friend. Someone who pray to his God five times a day, bow down, think he's a real God, and then you suddenly he see someone saying something never heard before. Like what this guy is talking about? What this crazy Christian prince talking about? This guy is a, he must be have a lot of hate. This guy is disgusting. My friend, I show I show everything in the screen. Nothing in my pocket. Okay, we have a caller. Hello. Hello, CP. How are you, my friend? Yeah. Uh... A very interesting uh, chat that you had uh, with a person before submission. Um, I'm a Christian myself, and uh, I just want to ask uh, about the topic that you discussed before about Muhammad uh, forgot the a um, the mess messages from God. So how how do you um, explain about? his mission as a prophet but then what about the the love to love to mahfuz, the tablets on the heavens uh, you mean al yeah 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 the, yeah that's the, the, that's the, the one you mean the, how, how could the protected ta yeah, tablet, yeah. the protected tablet you mean yeah 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 that's that's yeah. the one yeah uh well you know the the uh, muhammad he have a lot of uh 
uh, fiction stories and he is copying from other religions you see if you uh -huh. see, if you study uh, other religions like the Zaradisht you know the the Persian old mm. religion they mm. they have a belief in things like this like you know like the the version story is coming from the Persian and you know if you remember uh, Muhammad he used to spend many hours with a guy his name is Salman al Farisi and you know what Farisi mean I mean the uh -huh. Persian Salman, uh -huh. Salman the Persian uh, Farisi Persian yes Persian so yes uh -huh. so he spent all night with him even Aisha she said like we were afraid that we you know like we are jealous from uh, Salman because he spent time with the Prophet at night more than his people is you know like he says stay with us so Muhammad yeah. learned a lot of things from Salman al Farisi and whatever he hear he's observing and he is using it for his religion so uh, suddenly we have in his religion we have versions you know yeah. And suddenly we yeah, have the, the, funny th the funny thing is that uh, if he's um, a chosen a prophet from God then and then the message that was sent every message was sent by God if it is eternal and they haven't then why he forgot <laughs> You know, do you know what I mean? Yes, and and, and uh, not only this. The, it's the, very funny, very very funny argumentation, I think. And you see, uh, if 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 Muhammad just forgot the Quran, and uh, uh -huh. uh, you know, as as the previous caller he said, well, he's a human being. It's it's possible. That is possible. That's true. Yeah, it's, that's it's, possible. But doesn't it, make any sense. Yes, but when when God he says to you, you will never forget, and this is what the Quran says. Allah is saying to him, yeah. we will give you Quran, and you will not forget the Quran. Then you forget the Quran. Yeah. Obviously, this promise is a false promise. Yeah. So Allah is a false god. That's true. So this is a statement of a false god, false prophet, who said that he been given a promise from God that he will be giving Quran and he will not forget the Quran. And then later we find him forget the Quran, and then he start making you know like uh, uh, excuses by saying, "Oh, Allah, if He caused us to forget mm -hmm. the Quran, He will give us something better." But this is contradiction for what you said in the reverse that He will not forget That's the Quran. Right. So and why Allah he will cause you to forget the Quran anyway? So why he sent it? You know? Yeah. So so the the um all the uh message or the uh the the ayahs of the Quran in the earth is not eternal, right? Well, I believe the Quran is nothing but a, a, it's a yellow pages. It's a collection yeah. of stories. It has nothing to do with the, you know, but no, the, no. The, the Muslim idea is that this Quran is preserved. But if anyone is studying the Quran, he will find that the chapter of Al-Fatiha has not even existed in the Quran. You see, the first chapter of Al-Fatiha, the first chapter of the Quran, mm -hmm. it does not make sense, you know, because uh, uh, if, you, if you read carefully, if you ask the Muslims, what is Al-Fatiha? All right. They will say to you, yeah. it is the opening of the Quran. Okay. And yeah. what this opening? They say to you, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a prayer. Okay. It's a prayer. Yeah. And this prayer is made by who? You know, and they say to you, yeah. this is given uh, by Allah. All right. But read with me carefully, yeah. my friend. It says here something very weird because it, it, you see, when they ask Jesus how to pray, Jesus, he said to them, pray like this. But here, okay. the one is talking supposed to Allah. Read carefully. It says, "In the name of Allah, the Most Gracious, Most Merciful, praise yeah. be to Allah." Allah is saying, "Praise be to Allah." So it's very, very confusing. Allah, Allah is saying, "In the name of Allah." You, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. You see, if the if the chapter if, if the chapter start if it start with saying it's saying like say, or pray like this, or say like this, then it makes sense. Mm -hmm. There's there's many verses in the Quran that says say, say, you know. That makes sense, yeah. but here there's no saying. So Allah is talking in the name of Allah, uh, most gracious. Why Allah say in the name of? Allah? So who who is the one is talking? I say in the yeah, name so of which the, God. Uh, yeah, if, uh, is I, there any other God in again? And if I am a Christian That's prince, the question, isn't it? If I am a Christian prince, I will not. I will, I will not say in the name of Christian prince, unless I am just a person, yeah, different right. different person who represents Christian prince. So in the name of Allah is obviously somebody he is speaking in the name of Allah, not not Allah. And if you ask the Muslims, is that the words of the angel Jibreel? They say to you, no, this is the word of Allah. So it's not Jibreel saying in the name of Allah. It is Allah saying that. Then he says, praise be to okay. Allah. Allah saying, praise be to Allah. And then he says, yeah. repeating the same thing he just said before. Obviously, somebody is making up a word. It doesn't make sense. Already you say this word for me. And then he says, the master of judgment day, thee do we worship. Allah saying, thee do we worship. Mm -hmm. Allah worship yeah. who? Yeah. You know? And then thin aid we seek Allah seeking the aid of Allah 
and then show us the strange way. Well, Allah is saying, and Allah show us the straight way, and then He says, yeah. uh, uh, the way of those whom you uh, has best uh, the, the grace, uh, those who etc. It doesn't make sense. The whole the whole thing is a joke. Yeah. I agree. This is was a copy yeah. from the Christian prayer. Muhammad was trying to make a prayer. The Christian they have a prayer. It's called our father out of heaven. Okay. And Muhammad uh, trying to copy um, from that prayer, making I... a prayer of his own. Yeah. Okay, got it. Um, can I ask you another topic about the uh, those Muslim youth about the uh, Muslim argumentation that says that uh, Muhammad uh, prophecy, not prophecy, but uh, yeah, do you know about the actually I've uh, asked about this question before um, about the confirmation from uh, the Christians, uh, monks, Bahira, and the other one, uh, Nafal bin. Uh, Who's that? He he's Waraka. his uh, Khadijah. Sorry. Uh, yeah, Waraka bin Nawfal. Waraka bin Nawfal. Waraka bin Nawfal. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about that? How, how do you respond about that? Because usually, okay, the Muslims usually use this as a argumentation that uh, the Christians at that time or Nasrani um, upholds his uh, prophethoods. What do you think about that? Well, first of all, they are those are Nasara, or those are not the Christians. And mm -hmm. the Quran never used the word the Christian ever in the whole book. Ever. As I see, it says yes, it says Nasara, and we are not Nasara. If you speak to any uh, any any Christian from the Middle East, you ask him, "Are you a Christian or uh -huh. Nasara? He, are you a Messihi or Nasara?" He will say to you, "We are Messihi." And, and I see. Masihi, I'm not Nasara. Nasara simply it was a name or a title given. To a group of people who they are the same as like Jehovah's Witnesses today, false Christians, rejected the Christians. Uh -huh. So Muhammad, he, Muhammad around him, he never have Christians. He have Nasara, and this is why yes. he speak about those who they are Nasara, not about those who they are Christians. However, the story yes. of Waraq ibn Nufal appears strongly uh, in in the Hadith where it says that uh, when Waraq ibn Nufal he died. Muhammad he stopped receiving inspiration now yeah. why Muhammad he will receive no inspiration no more just because a priest who is not a Christian he is a, a Nasara uh, priest yes he died why I mean yes. why Allah will stop sending this guy have nothing to do with Muhammad being prophet or not he's just a man old man so why Allah stop sending revelation what happened yes and you will see here that if you read carefully with me, I have it in the screen. It says Khadija mm -hmm. uh, then accompanied him, her cousin, uh, to her cousin. Yeah. Actually, he is not a cousin uh, like uh, their cousin. Anyway, Waraqal Nufal, Ibn Asad, Ibn Abdul Uzza, Ibn Qusay. Uh, Waraqal was the yeah. son of uh, etc., like uh, uncle of uh, blah, 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 the father, brother, who is during the pre Islamic period become a Christian. He did not become a Christian. This is a lie. He became a Nasara. This guy, mm -hmm. this guy, he was this guy. He was a pagan. Then he became uh, uh, some story to say he, be, he 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 wanted to be a Jew, and then he decided to become Nasara, which is not a Christian. And then he used to write Arabic writing, and used to yes. write of the gospel in Arabic. That is the Quran. Mm -hmm. Do you see it? Yeah. Yeah. It, it's proven to us here that there's an Arabic writing in the time of Muhammad Which is supposedly Arabic writing of what is called the gospel of the Nasara not the Christians mm, All right, I see. Okay. and this is where Muhammad was yeah. getting his revelation. This is not revelation This is the writing of, uh, of Waraka and then you will see uh, That when Waraka he died it says uh, Muhammad he even tried to commit suicide uh, yeah. see here, read with me, and then, but a few days after, or after a few days, Waraka died, and the divine inspiration was also post. What? Why the divine uh, post for the death of a man? And then the prophet becomes so sad, as we have heard that intent he intended mm -hmm. several times to throw himself from the tops of the high mountains. 
and in that and every time he went to up to the mountain in order to throw himself down Gabriel which is Jibreel would appear to him uh, before him and say oh Muhammad you are indeed uh, Allah messenger in truth whereupon his heart mm. would become a quiet and calm down and return home and then whatever period coming of the inspiration is stopped or uh, uh, paused again Muhammad he go again mm. to try to commit suicide so Muhammad according to the story he tried to commit suicide after the death of Waraka because he is not receiving inspiration why because Waraka is dead yeah, and now who is, funny, going, who is going mm, to give mm. him inspiration the inspiration is not inspiration this is what I was teaching him what to say so now after okay. the, after after the death of Waraka Muhammad he have a problem what he will do what he will okay. say to people what he will get the 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 Quran which was reciting before but as you see the the hadith here confirming that Waraka have a book and most likely Muhammad he got his hand in this book after his death so he continue yeah and not in not only that but it took him time before he got the, uh, the solution to read from the book of Waraka. Uh, so it says that he tried to commit suicide. And here the question is a challenge for all the Muslims. Why somebody is a prophet of God, he will do such a thing. Intend and to he, kill himself. Yes, and many times, not only once. Not like one, two, yes. you know. And why each time he tried to kill himself, the angel come to him and says to him, uh, a truly or an, a prophet that's mean Muhammad himself do not believe is a prophet that's why he want to kill himself yeah so when he said to him oh, oh yeah well, wait 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 don't, yeah don't yeah. do it don't do it you are truly a prophet and Muhammad he relax and he go down home I mm -hmm. mean what, what kind mm -hmm. of a kid this kid is he said this is a behavior of a crazy man like a kid I mean even a kid will not do that why you want to kill yourself let us say I was a prophet and God stopped sending me reservation so what so what I would do why I want to kill myself yeah and I thought that uh, if a Muslim have a big intent to do something, that it's it must be considered. Like if you if uh, they want to do the uh, saum, the fast fast, yes. and they have the the they want to do it, then they uh, it is a very important thing. Then compared to that, in this case, he. But Muhammad himself, he intends to kill himself, so it must be a big thing, isn't it? Yeah, well, this is the prophet. I mean, if the prophet is 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 a is a is he working is a prophet, to kill yes, himself, yes, so who is right. left? This is this is a work of somebody he don't it's believe. It's a sample for everybody. Uh, for and this is actually, Muslims. according to Muslim, it's a sin to kill yourself. Like they do commit suicide bombing, it's yeah. halal. This is because this is jihad. But to kill yourself, just to kill yourself, is is, is forbidden. So why the prophet even Muhammad himself he said the one who kill himself by by a, by a knife or a piece of uh, steel or throwing himself from the high mountain you know he will spend his life in eternal life in hellfire so why you are saying that if you do that you will go to hellfire but yet you yourself you try to throw him yourself from the hell, uh, from the top of the mountain okay you know yeah so yeah. it's it's a chain of contradiction uh, uh, chain of stupidity and Muhammad life is very interesting to be explored and love at okay so what do you think about the other one um a priest named bahira uh, you know there is many stories about bahira but i, I usually i focus in uh, in the story of waraka more because i believe that waraka is the real person who have a real impact on muhammad life oh, okay if he was exist i mean muhammad uh, i see because bahira supposedly he was a person who lived in damascus and it might be a, uh, not a true story i'm not sure about it but yeah, uh, yeah. but uh, Waraka, Waraka, I believe most likely he is the real father of Muhammad. You know, I see he is a he is a real father because okay. if you if you have my book, you will find that when Muhammad father, according to the stories of Muslims, and I have the reference yeah, there. Yeah, I'm I'm still reading it. Yes, that's yeah. right. Okay. When when he was going to sleep with Muhammad father, uh, uh, Waraka or the sister of Waraka, she offered the father of Muhammad one hundred camel to sleep with her, and does that make sense? Uh, but most yeah. likely Waraka he sent his sister to the father of Muhammad saying to her trying to convince him not to sleep with that woman sleep my with my sister because already Waraka sleeping with her at that time the Arab yeah. used to, to do something it's called Zawaj al -Rah, <coughs> where a woman she yeah. sleeps with many men and when she got, when she got a, she got a bread net she decide who is who is the father you know so yeah. uh, uh, Waraka obviously like there's a story of Muhammad was lost where they find him with Waraka. Yeah. Muhammad always can be found with Waraka. This is why when Muhammad, when when Waraka he died, Muhammad was so sad. 
Yeah. So because he is, he he, he do not know any father except for Allah. Yeah. Go on. Yeah, this is the only father he know. This is the only real father okay. he know. You know, Waraka. You know. Um, about the um, uh, about the Nasara again. Um, they mentioned about the uh, a if I'm not mistaken uh, from Jalal Lion, um, the Nasara so, uh, were supposed to be uh, people who were being straight, weren't they? The, the Nasara I mean, is the one who help. Yeah, like, coming from the word, the one who they, like, which means the helpers. You know, the helpers of the of the Messiah. But anyway, that that yeah. that's not true. Uh, you know, the, the the Muslims always they, they try to mix between Arabic and the original language. The word Nasara is coming from the Nazareth, and those are Nazareth is not Nas from the Nasara, the city of Jesus. It is from the word yeah. mean poor, the poor in Hebrew. So. They are called by the Christians the poor for they have a poor understanding of the Bible not because they are poor So they are okay. called the poor those are the Nazara people So Muhammad he is speaking about them and he believed that they are the true Christian because those are a Jew Those are Jews yes. who've been discriminated to and they run away uh, to to the Arabian Peninsula when when the Christian yeah. reject their teaching they face kind of discrimination during the time of the Roman. So they run yeah. away, they run away, escaping from any place have authority of the Roman because yeah. simply they are rejected. So uh, 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 Muhammad, he never met the uh, really Christians. He met only Nasara and those Nasara, they, they are rejected by the Christian themselves. So he, Muhammad, always having the influence of the Nasara who they have their own idea. And Muhammad, he learned from the Nasara that Jesus, yeah. when he was on the cross, he, you know, it might really appear that he was there, but because God, he loved his son, there is no way he would make the true Jesus, you know, be crucified. So yes, it was Jesus, but obviously Jesus, he placed his image. They did not say he's a yeah. clone. No, they did not say clone as Muhammad say. They say he placed his image, but the true Jesus was not crucified because he is higher than this. So Muhammad, yeah. he took the idea of the crucifixion from the Nasara too. Yeah. You know? So if if they if the Muslims say that uh, the Nasara at that time were people who were astray from the right path, which is Islam, then Waraka himself is not the he was not a right. Uh, Muslim, or, uh, yes, well, but because Muhammad, is an Islamic, but because, Islamic but, Christian, yeah. isn't it? Right, but because Muhammad is a hypocrite man, he he said that Oraka will go to heaven. Why? Ah, well, I see. It doesn't make sense, you know, because if he is Nasara, you know, how he will go to heaven? It doesn't yeah, make yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But so, you know, it's they're, a, they're, a, they're all uh, full of contradictions. Yeah, it, it is a contradiction. The real, I believe, strongly, Muhammad, he is the maid of his father. He continued the mission of his father, which is Waraq ibn Nufal. He created a cult of his own, you know, and he oh, okay. and he wanted Muhammad to be like a priest of the cult. And not it's not about being a prophet, really, you know. Uh, and Muhammad he yeah, carried yeah. on, he carried on with the message, which is the message of his father, which is Waraq. You know. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, my friend, yeah. uh, I'm, I'm, uh, there is some okay. people trying to call, so I'm going to. Uh, yeah. Thank uh, you. I have Thank to, you. you know, give you Thank any you, time. Sophie. And maybe some other yeah. people who are trying to call, uh, they can call us. You can feel free to okay, call again, you. please. All right, thank you. Thank you, my friend. Okay, God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Uh, the one, there is a Muslim who is trying to call. Please call me, please. You know, as you see, we, we told the Christian brother to hang up so he can call me. So feel free to call. Uh, I really encourage all of you to call, and uh, uh, especially the Muslims. Uh, because uh, you know you as a Muslim uh, you know you have the right for your voice to be heard you know we don't want what we do to be like one side of the story tell us your story tell us the side of your story maybe the Christians are wrong maybe Christian Prince is not really uh, uh, he know what he's talking about you know uh, call us prove us wrong uh, uh, show us uh, what is the truth and we will be so happy to hear from you so there is a name I saw he's trying to call. Please call us and feel free to be with us. You see, everything in Islam, I find it uh, stupid. The idea of God who created the world to worship him is a stupid. Be you know, I remember there's a guy 
I don't know if any of you remember him. His name is the Sword of Allah. The Sword of Allah is a, 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 an African American who converted to Islam, and he used to come to debate me and argue with me. And then after a while, he decided to leave Islam. And he made a video. He says, "I am sick of this God. I mean, this God. He created us to be his slaves. I mean, what a lonely idiot God to be his slaves, to worship him." I mean, go and find a girlfriend or something. This is what he said. I'm just quoting him, you know. So this God, according to Islam, he created us to worship him. I mean, does that, does that make sense? Why he created us to worship him? This is the purpose of creating us. That's disgusting. He's abusing the power of him being God, creating us to be his toys. That's not right. You know, this is an ethical problem. This God, he have an ethical problem. You see, imagine, I say, uh, 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 let us say, I, I went to an orphan, and I say, I'm going to adopt you. And I'm going to feed you, I'm going to give you uh, clothes, I'm going to give you a house, but in return, you worship me. I mean, this is really sick. The purpose of my good to you is not me being good. The purpose is I like to be worshipped. You know what I mean? I like to be worshipped. I want you to worship me. I mean, why is that? This religion have the wrong understanding of everything. From the beginning, everything is about slavery. I mean, isn't it? The Muslim, they say to us, we are against slavery. Who said that? This is a big fat lie. Islam, all of it is about slavery. Even Allah Himself, He created all a human being according to Islam to be slaves of His of His own, and actually He created them to be the slave of Muhammad. There's a hadith that says that if not you, I, Allah said to Muhammad, if not you, Muhammad, I created no one. What? Why Allah is saying that? If not you. Let me show you the hadith. <clears throat> if not you, I created nothing. I'm trying to find it, the article. All right. Okay, we found it. Let me show you in the screen what the Muslims really believe in, which is going to expose the whole idea of a slavery thing. You see, for me as a Christian, the Messiah himself, he came to serve me. He did not need slaves. The Lord himself, he became a servant. The Lord himself, he washed the feet of his followers. The Lord himself, he said, if you don't do what I do, you don't belong to me. You have to be a servant of others, not to serve me. I don't want you to wash my feet. I will wash your feet. I will give you a great example how to serve others. Read with me carefully. This is not a Christian website. This is not a Christian article. This is not a Christian answer. This is written by the Muslims as an answer for the Muslims. If not you, Muhammad, I would not have a create, create, created a creation. What? So all of us, we are what? Toys. And we are exist for one reason. Just for the sake of Muhammad. What? The question is, is this hadith is it true? What is, are we seeing really the reason for the creation or not? Look at the answer. Indeed, the Prophet of Allah Sallallahu alayhi wa even Allah himself he prayed in Muhammad is the reason for the creation of Adam alayhi salam peace on him and the universe Muhammad is the reason for the creation of the universe if the Prophet of Allah was not in existence then the Arsh the Kursi al al -qalam, the Arsh means the chair of Allah the throne of Allah the Kursi the chair the Lawah is the tablet 
the qalam, the, the pen which Allah he write with, the sky, the earth, the heaven, the hell, the trees, the stones, and all other creation will not be exist. What the heck is this? They say to us, we don't worship Muhammad. They say to us that they don't, you know, they, Muhammad is just a man. What do, you, what do you mean just a man? Allah himself is serving Muhammad. Allah, why Allah is exist? Obviously, just to make Muhammad happy. <laughs> What is the reason of the existence of Muhammad? Oh, sorry, Allah. It's just to create things for Muhammad and make Muhammad happy. Who, who, who what, what kind of a mad, stupid religion this religion is? Everything created for the sake of Muhammad. Okay, I saw a rat yesterday. Is, is he created for the sake of Muhammad? I saw a pig. He was created for the sake of Muhammad. I saw a cockroaches. I saw a donkey. Everything created for the sake of Muhammad, even the fish in the ocean. I'm not going to go fishing no more because those are the fish of Muhammad. I'm not going to eat beef no more because this is the beef of Muhammad. All the cows are exist for the sake of Muhammad. You Muslims, you have a madness. You worship a man. His name is Muhammad. You don't. You know. You don't tell us you worship Allah. You are. A, you, you are a liar. Everything is exists for the sake of Muhammad. I, 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 I like hummus. Can I eat hummus? No, you cannot because this is the hummus of Muhammad. Even hummus is the hummus of Muhammad. Falafel is the falafel of Muhammad. Jish kebab is the shish kebab of Muhammad. I mean, what is left for me? Nothing. Everything is made for the sake of Muhammad. And yet they say to us, you Christian, you worship a man. Really, are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> now, there is a Muslim he was trying to call. Call me, my friend. Call me. Let us see if we can have one more Muslim to leave Islam today. We have Mr. Submission to Allah. He decided to leave Islam and he said that his wife, too. I'm very happy for him. I'm very glad to see a Muslim family decide to leave Islam and to find the true way out of this mad, crazy religion. Uh, you know, our purpose here is not to insult the Muslims, even if what I say is insulting. I understand because it's insulting. I mean, when I say to you that this is stupid, obviously I'm saying to you, you are being stupid. But it's not the purpose to say to you, you are stupid. It's just to show you that you are stupid. It's a stupid to believe in such a thing that Muhammad is the reason for the world to be created. It's a stupid to believe that you worship God, but God himself is exist for the sake of Muhammad. It's a stupid to worship that you are a servant of Allah and Muhammad is a servant of Allah, but the fact Muhammad himself is in control of Allah. Actually, here, if you read the story, you will see that uh, the story of uh, uh, Adam, when Adam, he commits sin in the heaven and he ate from the apple, huh? uh, he, he asked Allah for forgiveness. And he said to him, forgive me for the sake of Muhammad. What? Adam, he said for him, forgive me for the sake. Read the story, it's in front of you. I'm not making things up. The Prophet ﷺ said, Allah said, when Adam made a mistake, which means a sin, he asked, Oh Allah, I ask for the sake of Muhammad to forgive me. Adam, he know Muhammad? Adam, the father of mankind, he know Muhammad. Like what? Is it this is the first man? How he know Muhammad? And look, even Allah himself, he got surprised. Like what? Look what Allah said. Allah said to him, Oh, Adam, how you recognize Muhammad? Allah did not get it. Like, what? What, what, what you said? What you just said? Forgive me for the sake of Muhammad. Allah was like, what? How he know Muhammad? Allah himself, he could not comprehend. Oh, Adam, how you know about Muhammad? How you recognize him? Huh? When I have not created him yet. Like, what the heck? How you know him, man? Did you hack my computer? Adam said, Oh Allah, when you created me and blew into my spirit, I lifted up my head and I saw it written on the arsh, which means the chair of Allah. La ilaha illallah Muhammad. Like, what the heck? Well, Allah, he wrote the shahada in his chair and the name of Muhammad in his chair. And the stupid Allah, he could not comprehend why Adam know about Muhammad. Uh, hello, his name is there, man. 
The name of Muhammad is all over the chair. La ilaha illallah, Muhammad is Allah. La ilaha illallah. Allah Himself is is witnessing that Muhammad, Allah is converting to Islam, and not only that, He cannot sit in a chair unless it is written the name of Muhammad there. And Adam, when he created, he looked up and he saw the name of Muhammad. So he put in his head, ah, how is this Muhammad? He must be an important person for Allah. So he said to him, Oh Allah, I seek forgiveness from you and for the sake of Muhammad, please forgive me. And Allah like, wow, how you know about Muhammad when I did not create him yet? Look how slow Allah is. I mean, can't you see the chair you are sitting in? The name of Muhammad is all over. What a crazy religion. And for the sake of Muhammad, Allah, he forgave Adam. Hello? If Allah forgave Adam, so why he kick him out of heaven? <laughs> oh, what a stupid religion. As they say, my friend, garbage in, garbage out. This is what you get when you get garbage in. All those stories are fabrication. And it's made my... You are reading a fabricated hadith. Here we go, guys. Look at this guy. Everything for him fabricated hadith. How you know it's fabricated hadith uh, uh, nightmare? Tell me how you know. This is official Muslim website, and this is from Sunni website. It's called sunnah.org. And this is the answer of the official scholars. So why it is fabricated hadith for you? It is an authentic hadith for them. And let me ask you, Abdul, aren't you the one who who called for me before Ibn Taymiyyah? Aren't you the one who said to me, let us read Ibn Taymiyyah? This is the hadith is coming from Ibn Taymiyyah, you idiot. How many times you mentioned to me Ibn Taymiyyah? So you are saying to me Ibn Taymiyyah now is a fabricator. Thank you very much. Do you see Ibn Taymiyyah and his discussion of the hadith of Adam for forgiveness? Read it. Do we have any Abdul? Anyone decided to leave Islam today, additional to the brother we heard from and his family? Now, guys, if you are not subscribing to our uh, channel, don't forget to subscribe. And if you already subscribe, don't forget to unsubscribe. Because the logic of Islam is very simple. Do sin and then do good. Like you subs unsubscribe and then subscribe because Allah will bless you more. Mm. The Muslims, they learn from Muhammad that if you good, do good deeds, it's going to erase the bad deed. I mean, what kind of logic this logic is? I'm going to rape a woman today and tomorrow I will make a donation to the mosque. <sighs> My sin is gone because the good deed will erase the bad deed. Wow. What a crazy logic. Do we have any smart Abdul? I, I hope I'm not insulting the Abdul when I say smart. Because they get offended from anything, even if you say smart. Anything you say is offending. It doesn't matter what you say. Uh, the time now is 4.20 p.m. in my time. I don't want to keep you longer, right, guys. Uh, today is a weekend, and I know that maybe some of you want to have a Good time with his family and uh, with your friends. Uh, yeah, nightmare. Hakamu, hakamu. You know, stupid Muslim uh, propaganda. What hakamu? This is Ibn Taymiyyah, and he approved it. You know, if you can tell me that Ibn Taymiyyah is a stupid, call me. Call me. Call me and say Ibn Taymiyyah is a stupid liar. Oh, just, do, just do it. <laughs> any hadith, any hadith, the Muslims, they will find you right as a solution to say it's weak. It's not approved. We don't like it. You know, even the Quran, they don't like it. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I, I, I don't want to hold you long. You see, I'm, I'm trying to make a, like a, not a very long video so people, they can watch it better and they can share it easier. And we will do more. I mean, we are here. And like my, my, uh, my trip is over. Uh, there is a group of you trying to invite me to Europe, and we are discussing maybe when we can do it. I hope maybe soon. But even if I go to Europe, still I can do my uh, live show because Europe is not uh, the internet there is not bad, the same as it was uh, uh, where I you know uh, in my previous trip. So uh, uh, even if I go, I will be able to do my live podcast. And I hope you guys are enjoying what we do and learning. You know. 
Do we have any Muslim would like to call? Any beautiful Muslim? Uh, Robert, I would love to come to UK. Why not? You know, but uh, you have to invite me. I don't go to places unless I have a reason to go. I, I'm not going to go just to drink coffee or tea. You know what I mean? I have a mission. So if you can uh, prepare a seminar for me, it doesn't matter where I go. You know, I just came from the end of the world. Took me almost, I don't know how many hours, long, long day. I mean, it took me almost a day to arrive uh, from my uh, trip. It was a very long trip because, you know, I try to, um, I'm not rich, so I cannot uh, buy the direct, uh, uh, like a flight or etc. So it's a long trip. Uh, there's many hours of stop between flights. It's, uh, it's, it's uh, very tiring, but still it's okay. I mean, uh, uh, you know, uh, I like what I do. And in the same time, I love, I love traveling for me. I, I, uh, I take it as a, um, a mission. I do what I do. In the same time, it's, a, it's like a vacation. All right. Hello. We have a caller. Let us see who is this. Hello. Hello, Christian Prince. May I ask you another question? Sure, sure. Go ahead. Right. Are there any false prophecies in the Quran or in the Hadith where Muhammad makes a false prophecy? All of it. That you think is a good argument to use against Muslims? All, right, all of it. Uh, you know, right now, right now, in front of you, I'm going to make a challenge for any Muslim to give me a prophecy, Muhammad, you give in the Quran. Any, they choose the best. And you will find that all of them, they are false. As an example, I just, I, as long as you are just asking for an example. You know, you heard the Muslims before saying that Muhammad, he split the moon, correct? That's correct, yeah. Okay. In Surah 54, verse right. 1. Yeah, but this but this, but this, this story here have a false prophecy. Why? Because it says that the moon split and the judgment day is near. Right. Okay. But where is the wow. judgment day? There is no moon split and there is no judgment day is near. You know? Right. That's a good one. Yeah. Right. It, okay. says, it says near. It's not. It doesn't say... Like uh, you know, it's uh, it's it, it, like it's almost here in Arabic. It's very clear, you know. Uh, so it's a false prophecy because there is no moon split and there is no judgment day is near. The Muslim scholars believe Muhammad literally split the moon in half during his well, ministry. Well, Muslims they believe in that. Yes, that Muhammad. Okay. No, actually, the Quran actually does not say that Muhammad he split the moon or anything. The Quran says. It's describing some, something that supposedly happened. It says, the judgment, the judgment day is near, almost there, and the moon split. So it's describing a split of moon. It doesn't say even who is the one who did it. It right. doesn't say okay. it doesn't say if it's Allah, it doesn't say Muhammad, it doesn't say anything. It just says, and obviously this is what's happened for like an eclipse, you know, happened at that time. And those idiot uh, uh you know think that this is the moon splitting, and Muhammad actually. <laughs> Uh, he is copying from the poetry of Imr al Qais because this is a statement of al Qais he said in his poetry long before Muhammad when he saw his girlfriend in the at night he said that uh, uh, when she come the moon split it's exactly the same statement the moon the moon split so uh, Imr al Qais was an Arabic poet yes yes and right. and, and he is a very famous uh, person too so this is a very well known point. He said a point. He said to his uh, 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 beloved woman, who is very beautiful. So when he when he saw her, he said, "Oh, when she come, the moon split." Muhammad he took it and he put it in his Quran exactly as it is in his poetry. And then, uh, uh, but by making such a mistake, he copying this poetry from this man. The guy, the, the the poetry man, he used the same word exactly, except here he used the word danat. It's the same. Danat and Dhaqtarabat is the same word, like mean the meaning. That like almost, almost, almost there. So okay. the, the judgment day is near, very close, and the moon is split. But this guy was not talking about a moon splitting. It was he was talking about his girlfriend, that she is right. like like the moon in the middle of the night. It's like you know uh, she is very beautiful, and the Arab they like white women, so she is obviously white. So when she appears, it's like the moon is split suddenly in the in the in the middle of the sky. So wow. this is a false it's prophecy. It's just a metaphor for how beautiful she is. Yes, yes. So right. this is a false prophecy. Muhammad, by copying this poetry, adding it to his Quran, he made a false prophecy because now the meaning has changed. It's not about the women no more. It's about judgment day is near 
and it's a sign of it that the moon is splitting and now right. when you say the moon is split it's mean the judgment day started this is not a sign of it's near the moon, we are talking about the moon split like what what happened the moon is split and then Allah changed his mind about the, the judgment day <laughs> right okay. and and if the moon hey. and if the moon is split you know if the moon is split the moon that's mean the moon became two pieces correct correct it's not a crack then that's mean the the moon should be destroyed yeah because you know if if the earth now became two pieces the earth will not stay in its even location in the in the in the space the two pieces is going to be two huge rocks and they will spread against each other you know and uh, most likely they are going to hit the more close uh, planet to them maybe the moon so the moon in this case if it's a split is going to hit the the earth you right know? Okay. Uh, especially the the part which is facing the earth you know is going to be grabbed by the gravity uh, of of the of the earth so the the whole story is a fiction story taken from a poetry about a woman she is so beautiful when she appear the moon split muhammad took it put it in his quran and that make him a false prophet again all right yeah okay all right thank you very that's the only question i wanted to ask you're welcome my friend thank you for calling okay. thank you do we have any Abdul would like to call? All Abdul are welcome. We take big size, small size, size doesn't matter. I know in Islam size matter, but for me it doesn't matter really. If you are big, you are small, it doesn't matter. You know. But just to make it clear that for Muslims, size is very important. This is why Muhammad he promised the Muslims endless penis. And this is very important. I mean, imagine, imagine you have an endless penis. If, Wow, that's amazing! Like you, you know, I, I and during my trip, I went to the beach actually, and imagine you are wearing a swimming suit, and your penis is like going all. The, I mean, that's oof, oof. I don't know what women will say when they see such a such a man. I mean, I I, I cannot say what they will say, but I can I I can imagine how scary the scene is to have endless penis. I mean, imagine you are in New York, but your penis in China. No. I mean, it's a dream of everybody to have such a penis because you can sign a contract with oil company to use your penis as a pipe. You know, you, you can actually we can send water to Mars using your penis. I mean, it's endless. There's no there's no limitation. You know, you can uh, we can we, we can send your penis to different galaxy. You know. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hey, nightmare. How are you? I'm fine. I'm talking about the hadith that uh, that you just mentioned about uh, uh -huh. Muhammad. Mm -hmm. Well, I got um, got here many is wa qadrawiyat hadith batil wa mawdu'a bi hadha al Okay. 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 Question. Just a question. Just a question. Okay. Let, let me. Okay. No, let no, me, no. No. Just. Just. Speak. I, 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 I will. I will let you speak. Okay. I will let you speak. Let me, so why? Let so why in this Muslim website they are saying this no, is a true no, hadith? No. That's web. That's website. It's not Azhar website. Anybody can write website and put anything. No. No. Not. Not anybody. anybody. This is official I'm Islamic website. This is official Islamic website. This is not a Christian website. Okay, listen, 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 listen. Ibn Taymiyyah, Ibn Taymiyyah, Ibn Taymiyyah, Abdul. Are you to the one before he mentioned to me Ibn Taymiyyah as an authentic source for you? What did Ibn Taymiyyah say? Let me finish. Let me let me speak. Okay. Let me adapt it to you. Anyway, website is not official. This I can write website and put anything I want. Okay, okay, okay. aren't you reading right now? Aren't you idiot? Aren't you reading right now from a website? You are telling to me it's not official. Aren't you yourself reading from website? I'm 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 mentioning I'm mentioning what the scholar No 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 it doesn't matter you are reading from a website is that correct? Yeah, it's from website. So why you are saying to me anyone can make a website but yet you are reading from a website? I mean how stupid are you? No, no, no. I'm, I'm. Well, you know, no, 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 no. This is a Muslim website, and you are reading from a Muslim website. So, are you saying to me that you Muslims are a bunch of liars? You have two websites; they contradict each other. Is that what you are saying to me? Yeah. I don't care what they say. I'm just telling you what. Why? How I'm come saying? you don't care? You I have care. to care. No, you have to care. I'm who, saying. who knows that those are telling the truth in that website? You just told me anyone can make a website. You, this is your words, not my words. You are the one who said anyone who can make know, a website. Who now who listen, 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 to, listen. I want you to show me. I want you to show no, me from. No, 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 no. You are, you are being, you are being not honest now. You are, you are, you are not being an honest. You are not being an honest. Is Ibn Taymiyyah? Is are you? Are you? Listen, Abdul. 
Are you the one who said to me Ibn Taymiyyah is a trustworthy? Yes or no? Yeah, Ibn Taymiyyah is a scholar. It's okay, is a scholar. So why Ibn Taymiyyah, he explained it and he agree with it? What are the scholars are saying? You know, Aha, so, uh, you so Ibn Taymiyyah is a scholar, but here he's a stupid. So are you saying Ibn Taymiyyah here is a liar? No, it's not a liar. So, so why you are saying to me I'm lying, you idiot? Why you are saying to me I am lying? Why you are saying to me I am lying? If Ibn Taymiyyah, you're a scholar, he is agreeing with it. Where, why did he say? Matt, tell me what Ibn Taymiyyah said. <laughs> it's in front of you. Okay, what did he say? Read, read it. Did you read it? You did not read it. Read it. Read it. It's in front of you. They are witnessing. No, no, you, they are approving. Abdul, they are approving his statement. Yeah. No, you go read it. I have no time to read for you in Arabic. Go read it. No, you know? no, you say, you say, you know. That's why you 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 don't you have no idea. Okay, here no, it's in the front of you, idiot. I am posting. No, here we go. This is the link. This is the link. This is the link. It's not say anything. They, what did you say? Here what we go. It's in the front of you. It's yeah, in the stop. screen. It's in the screen. Take your time. Read. Enjoy. No, I already said this. This is this is Ibn Taymiyyah. This is Ibn Taymiyyah, and this is from and this is from the University of Al Medina. The whole article is written from the University of Al Medina. Read it. Yeah, I have another one where he says, here, scholars, let me tell you. I don't scholars care about your scholars. Uh, you know, no, listen, no, 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 listen, no, those are not scholars. Don't waste my time. Ibn Taymiyyah is nowhere to compare to any of those potatoes you are mentioning. And you are the one who approve him as a sure scholar. And you are the one who keep mentioning to me, read Ibn Taymiyyah. This is Ibn Taymiyyah. Ibn Taymiyyah is the one who said, Allah have hands, he have legs, he have ass, he have eyes, he have head, he have face. Ibn Taymiyyah. This is your scholar. Ibn Taymiyyah, he believed that Allah, he put his ass in the top of the chair. Or what he say, we do not know how his ass look like. He is a physical being. So don't tell me that the scholars say that this is a weak hadith. If Ibn Taymiyyah, he is your scholar, the one you choose for me from all the names. What this guy he do, he go and search in the internet. And then he find an article in a website says, oh, this hadith is not accepted. And then he make a speech about it. But he reject this website. And he accept that website. But both are Muslim website. But here we have a big scholar, and the scholar is speaking about it. You see, this is this is not this is this is an official website. No, no, don't 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 you know a, a nightmare. If you don't like to read for me what Ibn Taymiyyah is saying, don't don't call me. Do you like to read? Okay, okay, I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read what okay. Ibn Taymiyyah says. Okay, okay read. go ahead. Okay, Lakin, listen, Lakin, ليس هذا حديثا عن النبي. صلى الله عليه وسلم لا صحيحا ولا ضعيف ولا من يقوله أحد من أهل العلم بالحديث عن النبي. This is Tamiya is talking. The, but this is not hadith about the prophet. Is not. Where are you reading? Where are, not, where are you? Where are you reading? Where are you reading? Where are you reading? Where are you reading? Ibn Tamiya is in the front of me. Where are you reading from? What are you talking about? Here is I reading. I'm going to show it to you. Okay, you read it. Okay. No, it's in the front of you. Read, read for me. Read for me. It's in the front of you on the screen. No, read for me. Read for me. What is in the screen? Go ahead. Read. It's in the screen. I don't screen. see anything. The screen. I'm. I'm. Give me the link. Give me the link. Okay. Here we go. This is the link. Okay. Call me. Call me after you read it. No. Call me. Send me the link. Call me. I did already, Abdul. Potato. Potato. I did. Here we go. Don't call me again until you finish reading it. Don't tell me. Send me the link. I did many times. Here we go. It's in the chat. Click in it and open it. All right. Read. If not you, if not for Muhammad, I would not have created you, Adam. All right. And as we see here, that Ibn Taymiyyah is here presenting a hadith that was verified and certified by Al Hakim as authentic Sahih. Guys, does it say that? Does it say that? Is that my statement or this is the statement of the Muslims? <laughs> it's in the front of you, you liar. Can we find one Muslim have a little simple honesty? This is your Islamic website and the one is writing there supposedly is your scholars. And you said to me, Ibn Taymiyyah did not approve it. But look what it says there. It says, Ibn Taymiyyah approve it. It says that it's authentic and it is certified to be Sahih. 
what do you mean the link does not work copy copy paste if it's not open in your uh, you know uh, copy and, and paste in your browser here we go don't click in it maybe maybe uh, YouTube don't allow the to click maybe copy and paste all right the link is not showing okay here hold hold on let me show you the link in the top just type it in your screen as it is do you see it it's very simple it's not too long uh, I think now it's very clear correct sunnah.org slash fic I beat n t a y eleven dot h t m l. Yeah, many are able to open the link. I don't know why you cannot open it. Maybe we are using the phone or something. I'm not sure. Is the link is showing, guys? Is it clear now? Yeah. So don't tell me you cannot open it and send me the link. I send the link many times. What are you trying to say to us, this Abdul? That Muslims are a bunch of liars. Everyone he creates his own lies and he posts in his website or scholars, they post in their website their own lies. Which means Muslims are not trustworthy because everyone gives you the very confusing answer. This guy he approve it, this guy don't approve it, this guy he agree with it, this guy don't agree with it, this guy he say it's a lie, this guy he say it's true. It's a stupid religion. Abdul, why I want to post to you the link in the in Skype, you idiot? What's wrong with you? Do you think I am your servant? I post the link for everybody, and here we go. This is the link in Skype, you idiot. <laughs> Why you don't post the link in Skype? <laughs> Take it from the Muslims as nightmare. He said, Muslims are liars. So what if it's in a Muslim website? We are liars. We are Muslims. We are a bunch of liars. We create thousands of websites. Every one of us, he make a lies about the prophet. Everything is a lie in Islam. It's a confusion religion. What do we can get that to answer? This is sunnah.org. This is an official Islamic website. How we can find the truth? Nowhere you can find the truth because this is a Muslim website. Can you find this? A Muslim site is not telling a lie? It's impossible. And if you don't believe me, ask Nightmare. They are liars. All of them. Why somebody is a Muslim, he will create such an article lying about his prophet. Simple question. Why do I do that? Guys, look who's... The, <laughs> I went to the main page in the industry. I went in the main page. Look at the main page. Do you see? Do you see the, the, the main page? What do you see in the screen? The Al Sunnah Foundation of America. <laughs> Okay, and look at the scholar. Look how big the look how big the beard, man. I mean, do you see how big the beard? Why those long beard Abdul? They are fabricating a story about their prophet. Explain to me why they want to do that. But because this story is making Islam look stupid, so some Muslims have to. Make articles saying we should not accept it. This is stupid. This is disgusting. That's not can't be true. And guys, look at the names of those who they are writing in this website. Do you see the name? I mean, I'm, seriously, do you see the names? Look, look at the names. Read, read carefully. Doctor Noor Kabani, Mawalid, whatever his name. Sheikh Karadawi. No, what the heck, Doctor Noor Kabani, uh, uh, Maulana Sheikh Hisham, uh, whatever. Uh, what? Those are those are not scholars. Look at this guy beard. You know, I can I can wipe the floor with it. Do you see how big the beard? I mean, this is really huge. It took him maybe like twenty years to grow this beard. Yet he's a liar because simply they are writing lies about the prophet according to nightmare. I mean, how we can find anyone saying the truth? Right? And look at this liar nightmare. He's saying that he found that link and it says it's weak. You are a liar. Read carefully. Let us everybody read me with me. 
And as we see here, that Ibn Taymiyyah here presenting hadith that was verified and certified by Al Hakim as authentic Sahih. Stop lying, Abdul. It's in the front of your eyes. Yes, nightmare. What do what, what you want? To okay. Say? Are, are you going to let me speak? Sure, we are listening. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Listen, but first, you, but first, first uh, before you don't know how to read. Okay, okay, I do not know let how me, to read. Abdul, Abdul, let just, let just, wait, just wait, just wait. Just, just, no, no, just, just, just before, people. before you read. Let before. Me read for the I people. will read for let the me, people. I want you to read. I want you to read. Abdul, potato. Don't make me. You don't know how to read English. No, you are stupid, Abdul. I don't know how to read English. It's in the front of me, Abdul. It says, and as we see here, that Ibn Taymiyyah is here presenting the hadith that was verified and certified by Al Hakim. What do you say of that? The mic is yours. Okay. Ibn Taymiyyah now is going to lengthy discussion of this authenticity of the hadith, which he just stated was authentic according, authentic according, not to him. According to Al Hakim, he attempted to very okay. Hold on, hold on, guys, guys, uh, uh, hold, don't, don't talk because I muted you. He just admitted that Ibn Taymiyyah he said that this is authentic according to Al Hakim. Okay, question is Al Hakim is a higher scholar than Ibn Taymiyyah or he is a lower scholar? The mic is yours. I'm, I'm just reading what Ibn Taymiyyah uh, No, 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 no. I don't, I don't, I don't tell me what Ibn Taymiyyah. Who is higher? Who is now more certified? Al Hakim or Ibn Taymiyyah? The mic is yours. Ibn Taymiyyah is more famous than Al Hakim. Al -Hakim. I, I, who, who care about famous? I'm asking you who is more higher. If, because if Ibn Taymiyyah is more higher, why he is witnessing from Al Hakim? Well, he said, he said, he said, this hadith is is as authentic according not to him. Okay, okay, no, 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 now, Ibn Taymiyyah here is presenting it as authentic, not as false. Is that true? The mic is yours. Probably it was with you. In English, it's authentic according to Al Hakim. Right, but he's presenting it as. That, but he is a present. That, but he is a presenting it as authentic. As according to Al Hakim. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. But he's present. He said, but he is a presenting it as authentic. Not, he is not a presenting Al Hakim. To prove that it is not authentic, he is presenting Al Hakim to present that it is authentic. No, no, you don't know English, man. He mm. said he stated was authentic according to Al Hakim. He didn't say uh, uh, authentic according to me. He said according to Al Hakim. Then later he attacked the Hakim. He said that this hadith, this hadith is weak. Why? Because Al Hakim is not as strong as some other scholars. Period. Okay, hold on, 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 hold on. Okay, you shut yourself in foot. Okay, let us laugh at you. Let us, let us, let us laugh at you. This, this guy is not as strong as other scholar. What do you mean he is not as strong as other scholar? How, how a scholar can be strong and the other one is weak? That's what, that's what the Britannia. It doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. Read it. Really? But he said, "Say that." He said that. He it said doesn't that. say that. What do you mean? No, reading, is he I'm a scholar? Is he a scholar? Al is, is Al Hakim as a scholar or from the Sahaba? I am reading. I am reading what the, what the Bnei Taymiyyah. Who, who is Al Hakim? Do you know? I'm reading what Bnei Hakim. Is Al Hakim? Who is Al Hakim? Who is Al Hakim? Who is Al Hakim? Who is Al Hakim? Do you know? Well, Hakim, he must be a scholar, but he was not as strong as other scholars. That's what Bnei Taymiyyah said. If you have mm -hmm. a problem with that, don't blame me. You blame them. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, where in the in the front of us it says that this hadith is rejected? When it's okay, when the hadith is weak. Weak, no, weak no. it's mean it's accepted. Okay. The hadith, no, the weak no, hadith, weak. the weak, uh, yeah, Abdul, yeah, Abdul, yeah, Abdul, yeah. Abdul, don't be stupid. A weak hadith is accepted. 
No, nah, it's not accepted. Okay, you want a challenge? Do you, do you want to make no. a challenge? Do you want to make a challenge? No. Okay, let us make this. Let, let us do this. If I show you a proof that weak hadith is accepted, are you willing to open yeah. the camera and do the monkey dance for us? No, nah, you're gonna you're gonna show me what his name is, the American guy. Yeah? It doesn't matter who I will show you. This is Islamic. Those are your Muslim teaching you in the mosque, and I will show you that. Had okay, okay, I will give you a chance, Abdul, 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 Abdul. Weak hadith, weak hadith is accepted. Weak hadith is accepted. As simple as that. Why you are lying? Right. This one is saying weak. Other other scholars, they say this hadith. Is okay, listen. Um, okay, no problem. You you, you just admitted. You just admitted that this hadith is weak, according to you. Do you admit? No, no, no. Do you agree? Do you agree? Okay, no problem. No problem. Do you agree with Ibn Taymiyyah as you claim that he is saying this hadith is weak? Do you agree with it? Of course, if you say okay. Yeah, so now, so I, I, now, no, what no, no, what is weak hadith? No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. So now, what is weak hadith? Weak hadith has has a has a its net is weak. No, 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 no. That's another question. Weak hadith is it accepted by Muslim or rejected? What do you mean? If it's weak hadith, you cannot use weak hadith <laughs> to support something. Idea. No, we it's can support it. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. According to Islam, is weak hadith accepted or rejected? If, try, if you try to, to support like something is is, is rejected who said it, that who said who said who said that who said who said that who said that who said that let me let me finish one. who okay. who's, who said that? that no who said who said you that let, you don't let me speak no no you know, i want speak. you to tell me no you you, you are speaking you, you i want know, you i want you to speak. tell me who said that if a hadith is weak is rejected let me well, let me finish. Let me speak. Okay. What the scholar says about who who hadith. who the scholar who, who the scholar name the scholar for me who said that a weak hadith is rejected. Let, let me talk. I'm let asking you. Talk. Give me the name. Don't let tell me scholar. Don't talking. tell me the scholars. Don't tell me the scholars. Give let me the name of the scholar who said weak hadith is rejected. Let me let me talk. Okay. Are you gonna let me talk or not? No, I will not let you talk unless you answer. Yeah, yeah, we want to make it clear. clear. You yeah, are you are a liar. You are a liar as always, and I'm here to get you busted. Give me, I, give I, I me the scholar who say a weak hadith is rejected. I want to know who is the scholar. Who is the scholar, Abdul? Who, no, you 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 are you are you are you are you are an you are an idiot. You are an idiot. Because yeah, simply uh, you just you prefer. just to prove that you Muslims are a bunch of liars. Because yeah, if this hadith is weak, you, if this hadith is weak, if this hadith is weak, huh? yeah, you never study hadith. That's the problem. Okay, you, you study, study hadith. hadith. Okay, hold on, hold on. Did you study hadith? Did you study hadith? Did you study the hadith? Don't Abdul. Did you study? Let me shut you up. Did you study the hadith yourself? Your mic. I know hadith better than you. I just okay. This is another question. Did you study the hadith yourself? Yes or no? The mic is yours. You don't even know what is. You don't even know. What this is not the question, idiot. How you are teaching me what its weak hadith mean if you never study the hadith yourself? The question is very simple. Did you study the hadith yourself? The mic is yours. No, I, I have no degree in hadith. So why you why you don't shut up? Why you don't shut up and give me a proof that hadith its weak is rejected? Let me okay. What the scholar said. No, don't tell me now the scholar. Who is the scholar? No, no, shut up, shut up. You either you are repeating yourself, you donkey. What, what do you mean what the scholar said? Who is the scholar? Show me. A weak hadith is accepted in Islam. You can go right now in YouTube and you will see all of you Muslims like donkeys sitting in the mosque listening to this American Muslim who is teaching you, idiot, that weak hadith, it pass. If I am not afraid from the copyright because Muslim they flag my videos when I play a Muslim video, I will play it for you. Why you Muslim don't say to the sheikh in the mosque who is teaching you that weak hadith is accepted? It pass. Why you don't call him? Tell him you are a liar. Tell him you are a donkey. I want you, I challenge you to make a video say that this guy who said that weak hadith is accepted, he is a liar. He is a donkey. Do it. I never saw one Muslim doing that. Why? Because this is the truth. If we go right now on YouTube, just to make it short and simple, for those who don't speak Arabic, I will go right now to YouTube. I'm not going to play the video. You can play it, but I will show you the title. 
All right. Let's see. Just to show you how they play games. All right. Here we go. Search for this video, please. And this is the title. As you see in the front of your eyes. And you will see that the video explaining to us and to every donkey like this guy who called me that weak hadith, it pass. It's not rejected. It pass. It's not a lie. So even if the hadith is weak, according to this scholar or that scholar, it is accepted. However, from the website we are reading from, it is not a weak hadith. Those Muslims, they have different opinion, but even the one who say it's weak, this hadith still cannot be rejected because a weak hadith is accepted. Is this guy, you know, why, why nobody stand in the front of this guy when he is making the statement and say to him, you know, you are stupid. You know, what are you talking about? Why nobody of the Muslims make uh, where we can find the videos of Muslims and answering this guy, teaching him this guy, they invite him to a conference in Dubai, in Saudi Arabia, in Kuwait. Why nobody stand for him and say, hey, you are teaching false information, you idiot, you are a liar. Maybe you are learning from a Christian prince. Where is the Muslims who want to stand for him and say, this guy is a liar. You see, how come nightmare he have the courage to say Christian prince is lying to you about this hadith? This hadith is weak and it's rejected, but he don't dare to say it to this guy. I want to see um, a videos, Muslim making videos against this guy, saying that he's a false teacher. Look, look, guys, look what he said. Look what this guy he said. Let me let me take a snapshot of this. I want to put it in the screen just to show you the, the, the madness of Muslims. No, don't call me. Don't call me now. Don't call me. Just wait. I want to show people what you just said in the screen because we want to laugh. It's time for comedy. Guys, read with me. Let me make it big. So we can love better. This is the statement of this donkey. I, and from now on, officially, I call you donkey because look what you say. It is not principle in Islam to rely in a weak hadith that either Sahih nor Hassan. Guys, did he say Hassan? Did he say Hassan? <laughs> what Hassan mean? <laughs> So if we can find the Hassan Hadith, that will make the Hadith good for nightmare. Deal? Is that deal? If the Hadith is Hassan, I want everybody to witness. So now I'm going to grab some Hadith which is Hassan. And if the Hadith is Hassan, nightmare have to accept it. Is that correct? Can he say he don't accept Hassan Hadith after now? This idiot himself, before he was debating with me about rejecting the Hassan Hadith. Watch my previous videos with him. He himself was saying Has Hassan Hadith is bad. <laughs> now Hassan Hadith is good. <laughs> you see how the weather changed the, the, the answer? Muslims are like seasoning. You know, they, are, they work by season. What was what was good yesterday? It is bad today, and what was bad today is good yesterday. All right, let us show you something, Mister Nightmare. He don't, you know, he, he just said, and we will we will we will laugh with it. Uh, And in a second, you will see that he will he will he will change his mind. He will not accept the hadith is Hassan. 
he would not like it. All right. I'm trying just to find him something. Uh... Let's see. <clears throat> All right. Let us laugh a little bit. Let us see. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I'm just looking for something that will make him uh, uh, dance in the camera in front of us. Mm -hmm. I found actually some, but uh, I'm looking for something. All right. The nightmare. There's a hadith that says, the one who killed, the one who killed a lizard, Allah will write for him 100 deeds. Is that rejected hadith or accepted hadith by you? Give me the answer, please. The one who killed a lizard, Allah will give him 100 deeds. Are you there, Nightmare? Is that hadith is accepted by you or rejected? Are you there? No, he cannot go. We want to have fun. I will call him. Yeah, Abu Brais. <laughs> <laughs> where you go where you go we want to see what he will accept what he will reject I want to show you the game the Muslims they play when they want the hadith is bad when the, they want the hadith is good so now I'm, I'm, I was looking on purpose to something funny stupid Muhammad said and I want to see what he will say about it why if I kill a lizard Allah will give you 100 deed let me try to call him again and I want to see if he is going to accept the hadith or not. He is not answering. Hmm. Maybe he get disconnected. We will wait for him. But I'm going to save this uh, in my computer temporarily because later this idiot he will say to me, "Hadith Hassan is not accepted." Now, who is a Muslim? Want to call me and tell me 
why Allah will give you 100 deeds for killing a lizard is that hadith is accepted if nightmare uh, is listening please I want the answer I'm waiting for you I remember you are the one who said it is not principle in Islam to rely on a weak hadith that is neither Sahih nor Hassan. I mean, how stupid this is this statement? How it is weak, but neither Sahih or Hassan. I mean, do, do you see, guys? Do you see this this statement? How you just said, rely on weak hadith that neither Sahih nor Hassan. You just said it's weak. So what do you mean? What it's it's weak and Sahih at the same time? Like, guys, do you understand what he's saying? Uh, are you are you listening? Read with me carefully. How we can? It's not a principle in Islam to rely on a weak hadith that is not neither sahih. How weak hadith is going to be sahih? So we can accept it if it's a weak hadith, but sahih in the same time. <laughs> That is neither this week hadith is neither sahih. If it's not sahih, we don't accept it. How it's weak and sahih in the same time. What, what a crazy religion. But let me tell you what he did. This guy he go and search in Google and he copy paste. So if the hadith is weak and it's sahih or hasan, we accept it. <laughs> How the hadith is weak. But it's Sahih in the same time. <laughs> uh, nightmare, are you there? Liars. You see, always they always because they try to get away with their lies. Anything you show them from their books, they say to you it is weak. But weak hadith is accepted, and the proof is in the front of you. You can search for this video. In YouTube and you can play it I wish I can play it for you because you know otherwise but you know they will they will flag my video for copyright even though I can play it legally I can do that but you know the Muslims in this in this video he explained to you that weak hadith is accepted it passed it's not rejected he said you know there's there's attack in weak hadith but weak hadith it pass it's not that not funk I'm just quoting him Why the Muslims don't say to this guy, you are a liar? Why they are teaching this all over in their videos in YouTube? Why only when you talk to me, weak hadith is rejected, but in your scholar he speak, you don't say to him, shut up, you are lying. So now we are waiting for this guy. Maybe he will call us again. You see, they try to scream and they try to fool you. And the whole article in front of us here in this website is to confirm that this hadith is accurate. They are not confirming the opposite. They are confirming that this is a, this is a good hadith. It's accepted hadith. You can read the whole article. <clears throat> uh, look guys look what it says here what those scars are saying Ibn Taymiyyah then tried to show us a hadith Narrated by Imam Muslim was rejected by other scholars. How it is narrated by Muslim rejected by a scholar? Who is more important? Muslim, you know, this is the highest. Uh, Bukhari and Muslim they are the highest. Rejected by other scholars, more knowledgeable than him, and that hadith Muslim narrated as hadith as Sahih is not. So because Bukhari rejected it, 
we then find that in fact Bukhari narrated himself <laughs> Madness religion of confusion. This is a religion of confusion. Now, who is the Muslim? Want to tell me if he accept this hadith or not? That the one who kill a lizard, Allah will give him 100 deeds. Is that weak? Is it strong? Is it rejected? Is it accepted? Any Muslim want to give us the answer? We are waiting. Yeah, you know, there's a there's a guy, his name is Alu Alwin. He keeps saying Christianity is wrong in Arabic. This guy he does not speak Arabic, obviously, is using Google. Because the word is coming funny. I mean, why you don't call me and tell me why Christianity is wrong, my Abdul? You know? Call me. But don't scream like this guy. Just tell me what what you think. And you know what? Before you call me, I advise you to go in the backyard and try to find uh, a lizard and kill him. Because if you kill him, my friend, Allah will give you 100 deeds. I mean, this is the easiest way to get deeds. Uh, what I need to do, I go and kill lizard. Uh, I'm, I'm going to move to Arizona tomorrow. I mean, they, they are all over there. You walk in the street, you see a lizard. You look from the window, you see a lizard. Like in the window, I will, I will get an uh, an, an air uh, uh, rifle, and I will start shooting lizard. Each time I kill one, I get one hundred deed. By the end of the day, I'm rich with deeds. I like we will have a million deed. Lizard all over. I care. I don't care. Anyone want to get some deeds? Okay, guys, I'm going to make uh, a tourist. Uh, uh, jihad tourist against lizard to make to, to win deeds who as a Muslim would like to register you know you pay only $100 fees all right to join us and then you pay for the ticket because we will go to the wizard land or lizard land sorry and you know uh, take your take your take your phone with you take a selfie with the lizard every lizard you kill you know take a selfie with it to prove and you send it to Allah because he will deliver to you 100 deeds So nightmare, are you there? Is this hadith Hassan rejected or it is a strong rejected? Which one it is for you? What is the problem with Muhammad between what is the problem between Muhammad and the lizard? The, yeah, the funny Muhammad, he never said if you kill a, a pig, he will get 100 uh, deeds. It looked like a lizard is more enemy to Allah. Allah, he hates lizard. A lot of wisdom there. I feel sorry if you are a lizard living in Islamic country. <laughs> you can imagine how many enemies you have. <laughs> you know, imagine, guys, uh, Trump is going to Saudi Arabia, and then a lizard suddenly showed up in the airport and the king of Saudi Arabia he start and the army it started chasing the lizard the lizard there kill the lizard kill the lizard and Trump like what the heck with those people why they are chasing the lizard they left me alone the king is gone the army is gone the police everybody is chasing the lizard the Trump he will say to himself well, I don't know that it's like the lizard is more important than me the Muslims they decide to chase the lizard and fight the lizard it's a, it's a war against desert, my friend. <clears throat> Do we have any Abdul here from the lizard land? So what happened to this guy? He said he accept a Sahih, uh, the, the Sahih and the Hassan. So here we go. Now we have in front of us something. I want you to say to me, I accept it. Anyone? Imagine how peaceful the prophet to the point even a poor tiny lizard he is his enemy. I mean, can you can you like 
think about it this guy is so good you know what I, I, you know I became curious I want to know let me let me look for a picture for mr. Uh, the enemy of Allah hold on I'm going to find a picture I found one I mean uh, obviously he is dangerous you can tell right away subhanallah look at this guy how dangerous he is look look you look weird huh uh, however Muhammad is asking us to kill different one let us find the one Muhammad he he, he wanted us to kill he want us to kill uh, like in Saudi Arabia they don't have those you know with uh, colors they are different mm. Let us see. I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find the enemy of Allah. Uh, okay. Like this one is look like the enemy of Allah. I mean, seriously, look at him. I mean, this is very dangerous. Oof, oof, oof. Uh, no wonder, man. I mean, if Allah He want him to be killed, that's, I mean, He have a reason. You kill this guy, you get one hundred deeds. What do you say, Muslims? Is that the logic of your prophet and the logic of your God? He send you jihad against Mister Lizard. 100 deeds for killing this small tiny poor animal any Abdul I, I you know I cannot resist converting to Islam I mean this is very convincing this poor guy he's like two or three inch tall he eat insect he's very useful actually if you have those animals around your house by the way they are cleaning your yard from insect a spider might kill your son this guy he will kill the spider for you. He never harm any human being. So what why we want to kill the lizard? Any Muslim might tell us why there's be there's a story behind the lizard. Hello. Anyone? Uh, this is a good question. Someone is asking what is the 100 deeds exactly? Don't ask me. Allah knows best. <laughs> you know, is it funny to say 100 deeds? What does that mean? This is a good question. One hundred deeds, like what? What? What does that mean? Like one hundred dollar? One hundred deeds? And look at this guy. He is looking at me like, like, why you want to kill me, man? I mean, why? What I did to you? <laughs> look at this picture. He's looking at us like, what? You want to kill me? Your God said, if you kill me, you get one hundred deeds. Are you crazy? I'm no one. I don't even have a name. <laughs> I'm no one. Trust me. I don't have social security. I am not. Uh, coming in from anywhere, I'm just a little tiny animal. Why you want to kill me? Please leave me alone. <laughs> like, like, why? And uh, if you look at the picture again, fo focus would be focus. This guy now is listening to our hadith. I wish I have, I can buy one. Maybe I should buy one and put him in the front of the table and I put the camera on him. And I will read for him what Muhammad he said about killing him. What What is your opinion, Mr. I will do interview with Mr. Lizard. Hey, Mr. Lizard, what do you think of the prophet? Peace upon him. Say, if you kill a lizard, <laughs> you'll get 100 deeds. <laughs> oh, boy. The prophet of Islam, he encouraged us to drink soup, have fly in it. And supposedly this is healthy. And he encouraged us to kill lizard and supposedly this is merciful and he is very loving to animals as they claim and the purpose is to get deeds I mean how selfish that is and why why in the world if we kill this poor tiny poor animal we will get 100 deeds what about 1000 deeds I mean is it worth it for a man to chase a little tiny lizard you are six foot tall and you are chasing two inch animal and you are a hero for killing him. And I mean, do you 
Ah, now I know. Once I saw a Muslim, he killed a lizard and he brought it as a gift for a girl. Ah, he want to show him that he he killed the dragon, maybe. Yeah, and the black dog is a devil. I I, I should uh, I should make this guy uh, what his name? Uh, Mat Matashan. Mat Matashan, call me, man. You are funny. I think this guy he would he, he would do good if he called. Call me, call me because he, you know he, he's posting nice text. Call, call, and give me your comment about uh, Mr. Lizard. Yeah, like the black dog is the devil. You know, just he's just remind me. The black dog is the devil. The lizard have to be killed. Uh, I mean, where, where we go with this? And the Messiah will come in the judgment day to fight with the pig. Guys, imagine, imagine this. Uh, you watch the, the 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 movie, the Lord of the Ring. And then supposedly Isa, the Muslim Isa, not our Jesus, you know, uh, this is I have nothing to do with our Lord. But the Muslim Isa, he will come with his Islamic army, big, big, big army. In the other side, there is one pig. <laughs> like 10 billion Muslims are and, and Isa is in the front. And then Isa, he say, the pig is in the front of us. Attack! And the Muslim, they will not jump. Only Isa will jump because they don't dare, man. The, the pig is scary. He's a pig. This is a pig. And then the whole world will watch life fight between Isa and the pig. Because remember, you know, this will happen in the judgment day. I'm assuming at that day, I mean, by then, already, already we have a three dimension uh, uh, projectors where they can make things in three dimension in front of us. So we will watch all of us around the globe. The fight between Isa, Mr. Pig. Isa, he's holding his sword, saying, Allahu Akbar, i going to kill you. And the pig, he says to him, I'm going to fight you, Isa. I am Mr. Pig. Do you know who I am? And imagine during the fight, suddenly, a little lizard like this, he appeared and he put his head between them. He looked at Isa and he said to himself, who is this guy? And then he looked at the pig. He said, what this pig is doing? And then the lizard, by inserting himself in the middle, Isa, he will see him. Isa, he will forget about the pig fight and he will chase the lizard. And the pig, he will say, where you go, man? I came to fight you. Why you are chasing the lizard now? But because Isa, he remember what Allah said. If you kill a lizard, you will get 100 deeds. So Isa, he cannot, he, he cannot waste his time because he will not get 100 deeds if he killed the pig. He will get 100 deeds if he killed the lizard. So he will run away, run after the lizard, leaving the, the pig alone. He will come back later to the pig. What happened to Nightmare? You know, he made me go and dig for the hadith and now he's gone. Hmm. Any Muslim? No Muslims? Hmm. Yeah. I don't know if this hadith is weak or it is a weak lizard. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to change the picture of this guy because I feel like weird. By looking at his face, looking at me. He, 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 in the picture, he sounds like he is looking at me exactly like, like what? A lizard. Look at this guy. I mean, this guy is dangerous. Isn't, isn't it clear to you that this is a dangerous animal? Look at this. This is scary. Allah himself, the God who made the universe, he have ordered the Mujahideen, Al-Qaeda, and ISIS to kill this huge big enemy to Allah I don't blame them obviously he looked dangerous and I'm scared like I look at this this is guy is a scary actually just five days ago I was walking and something fell on me it was a lizard actually it was a smaller than this one and he looks so funny honestly he looks so funny he he fell in my in my shoulder. I saw him. I look what what I, I thought it's a bird. Maybe he gave me good luck. 
<laughs> but it was a lizard. He looked at me and it, it's very funny. So I, I I push him with my finger, he fell down, and then he fell in his back. <laughs> he fell down in his back. <laughs> and he did not move. So I, I flipped him back again. I said, What happened? Did you die, idiot? What happened? I just pushed you down. <laughs> I said to myself, maybe I killed him by pushing him by my finger. Poor tiny animal, and the Muslims want to do jihad against him. So, are we out of Muslims? Let us give out one try and call a nightmare because he just said something we need to finish. <coughs> It's okay if he it says he's uh, not online. It's okay. He will come back online. I have a, a, a picture of his statement. I save it. When he come back online again, maybe he's trying to escape now, but it's preserved. It's here, and I'm going to make him witness to us how stupid he's a prophet, and now he cannot deny that this is will be accepted by him. When he said to us that such a hadith is accepted this is his statement i'm going to save it as you see maybe i should always do that when muslims they say something like take a snapshot for later uh, evidence all right any abdul <clears throat> all right Andy all right take care my friend have a good sleep actually me myself I got to go we had enough uh, today together and I hope uh, you guys you have a good time uh, I will try actually I will try to, to make live podcast every day if I can and I will try to make it earlier Especially in the weekends, so those who they are from different locations, like far, uh, you know, Asia, Asia and etc., they can join us. Uh, and I will try to make it in not in a fixed time, uh, but usually I will do it like around 4 p.m. New York time, because those who they are in Europe, they can. It's a perfect time for them. And uh, maybe in some other days we make it uh, more earlier for those who they are in uh, uh, in Asia, so they can uh, be with us live and they can call us. So I want to say thank you guys for being with us. I hope today we have a good benefit of being together. And uh, tell your friends that we are back again, and God is good. I'm so happy for Mr. Submission to Allah that he is not submitting to Allah no more. And he and his wife are leaving Islam and they already actually denounced Islam and they converted out of Islam. I'm waiting for him to tell me if he like to hear the good news about the Messiah, the Lord, and I will be happy to help him. And actually, uh, <clears throat> uh, you know, sometime uh, people who leave Islam, they need some time uh, to, let us say, uh, um, it's like you know you need to format your computer before you install a clean system you know uh, you know like he, he just got a virus he found that he have a virus in his computer and I'm not talking about a virus of computer I'm talking about uh, you know he being a Muslim all his life it's very sad and he was he's saying I'm shivering right right now I you know and you know he's very upset and uh, even he said that he he was so angry from his wife because she is the one who asked him uh, to watch my videos uh, it's not easy uh, I don't know if he's listening if you are listening feel free anytime I'm not going to ask you to uh, read the Bible or you know uh, uh, it, take your time when you feel that you like it you feel you have a question you want to know I will be happy even to talk to you in private to you and to your family if you like or alone it doesn't matter and I will be happy to help with this. I want to say may the Lord bless you all and until I see you maybe tomorrow I think tomorrow I will do live podcast again. It is Sunday, but not sure just watch Don't forget to subscribe and when you see the life is on You can just click and join us and you can always follow the news of when we are going to do a live podcast by joining our Facebook 
and uh, you can search for Christian Prince. Go to Facebook, Facebook slash the Christian Prince, the Christian Prince, and you will find my page. And uh, in minds.com, search for Christian Prince, simply minds.com slash Christian Prince. Thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you again, Christ is Lord, Islam is false. I mean to that. See you soon. Bye-bye.